What's up, Stratford, Connecticut? We are here, 1031 Eastern Standard Time. Start of another day, a beautiful day, prosperous day, meaningful day. All the days are here. And we will start today with a WPIG full context stream of the KO Gaming Community Submission Program. Some people might know a lot about it. Some people might know nothing about it. Either way, you're going to come out satisfied and happy, if you know what I'm saying. Schedule style segment. Of course, this show is going to go to about 2 o'clock. Then we're going to get the tunes rocking. And then 3.30 p.m., it is time for the group think. And then at night, it is time for Detractor Beam. What a day we have. Thursdays are the best day of the week. Am I right? Am I right? Come on. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> if you were on the stream last night, you heard Philip say, look at all this grease. Hell yeah. <laughs> and that was my favorite. <laughs> Anyways, hell yeah. So let's get into it today. Fuck it. Let's start right away. Let's get it, get it going. So we're going to be talking about the channel KO Gaming. And this will not be a KO Gaming history lesson. All right. It's not going to happen. But we obviously have to talk a little bit about the history of KO Gaming. So, in 2017, uh, things were not going so well for Philip. All right? Philip, this is when Machinima started doing the contract negotiation, of which there were two. And the first one just hit. Okay? Also, this is after the, um, uh, the apocalypse and stuff. So, things are going down, and Philip is panicking. All right? So, what does he decide to do? He decides to, you know, I'm going to do an edited style channel. That uh, will help, the, you know, save save the business. I'm going to do an edited style channel. And it was called KO Gaming. <laughs> so he did that pretty, pretty, he kept up with it. To his credit, he did do a lot of videos. Some of them got a lot of attention. Some of them didn't. Uh, but uh, it started petering, he started petering out uh, the channel in terms of how many views it was getting and how much he saw it was worth it, especially after Apocalypse. And wasn't as making as much as he hoped with the channel. So... Uh, at some point in the beginning of 2017, he decides to, uh, you know, have let us know about a new idea he has that will save the business. All right. And uh, that's what we're going to be covering today. This new idea that is going to save the business. All right. So I believe the first mention of this save the business style thing. Oh, come on. Was until let's do 122. I think it's right there. Uh, it was... Oh, God, he tweets so fucking much, dude. Holy shit, man. Look at this. Every day, it's at least... Look at this. Look at January 19th. All on your screen right now is all January 19th. He is a fiend on Twitter. All right, well, I thought it would be easier to find, because I know it's here. He mentions that maybe we're going to do a new... He's going to announce a new thing. It's not important. But anyways, he said, we're going to announce a new thing. Cool, it's going to be hype. Uh, but, uh, so this is the thing. So let's just get to the pre-stream where he first announces this new style thing. This is February 1st, 2017. Let's go. Before we get there. All right. All right. All right. Now, last but not least, but this is good news. Good news, guys. Right. Good news. The business is saved. Last but not least, but this is good news. Sweet. All right. This is very good news. Hell ladies yeah. And gentlemen. All Hold right. What is it? Yeah, I'm excited. I want to take news? a sip of my drink here. Oh, quick sip. In regards to KO Gaming. Oh! <gasps> okay. <clears throat> As you know, KO Gaming, the channel where I do all kinds of edited content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the major requests... I know about that. ...that I've got <laughs> for KO This is my Ga favorite. Look at this. Look at this fucking thumbnail. All right. <laughs> Thank you for re-upping your membership. I appreciate that. <laughs> Dude, how do you let this through? <laughs> Look at this. This is, might be the most low effort Photoshop I've ever seen. In the top ten, <laughs> there's there's literally two chins. There's just two chins there. I don't know if that was an artistic choice or not, but there is just two chins. <laughs> Shout out, fictitious, <laughs> for re up. All right, let's go. Gaming is basically <laughs> for major playthroughs that I do okay. to do. Montages. Okay. Because cool. a lot of people say, listen, Phil, you know, we're a fan of yours. We love your content. We jump on live stream when we can. Yeah. But I just don't have time to watch an entire playthrough from start to finish. Yeah, that was my problem. You know? Yeah. yeah. What's, uh, the, what's the deal? Realistically, with that? a lot of people like this more edited style content. That's what's all the rage on YouTube now, right? It's not. 
<laughs> it's been all the rage for a long and time, sit brother. Sit there and watch <laughs> a 20 hour playthrough, <laughs> but you'll watch uh, a 20 minute to maybe an hour long montage of the best moments of a game or playthrough. Yeah, right? I watch that. So. The bottom line is, I'd like oh, to do this. I did early. do this, actually. This past week, I made a video. It was the best moments from my Twitch and Chill Marathon for KO Gaming. Okay? Now, I've wanted to do montages of other stuff, but sadly, I don't have time. Yeah, oh, you see what no. I'm doing here? Every day, I'm doing gameplay. I do a gameplay stream. Then at night, I'm doing an edited video or whatever. I haven't had time. And one of the biggest requests that I've got... So, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so real quick, he does have time because he do he's doing edited style content at night. Couldn't this be edited style content? Oh, okay. I guess not. Stream that at night I'm doing an edited video or whatever. I haven't had time. And one of the biggest requests that I've gotten for the last two weeks since I finished my Dark Souls Redemption run was to do a montage. Like, can you do a death compilation? Can you do a funny moments montage? Can you do the biggest fails of that playthrough? So, can no, real quick. If that was something that a lot of people, one of the biggest requests, it seems like you should put that on the... On the on the front burner here. This should be a front burner issue. Then you should stop doing those whatever edited style shit. That's not what everyone is requesting, and do what everyone is requesting. Seems fine to me. But okay, let's keep going here. Let's see his decision making. What what shall we do if we don't have a lot of time? Then we just do something because we don't want to watch twenty more hours of Dark Souls. But we'd if like you to make see fun <laughs> of any stream chatter, Derek or otherwise. You're a fucking loser. If you lived in Snortfort and DSP trusted you. Could you fix some ass fictitious? Big ups, dude. If, if he would... Okay, like, uh, I'm going to take it as if I'm a manager, if I was DSP's manager, and he would listen to what I said, I think we could make it more successful than he is now. Absolutely. Anybody could, really, with a brain. But he won't listen to any manager, so that's why it's not going to happen. So, I don't think DSP trusts anybody. So, that's I know that's the hypothetical question you're throwing out. But if he trusted me, then yes, I could, I think, if you listen to what I said. However, he cannot do that, so he would not. See some of the stuff that happened during that playthrough. Okay? <clears throat> so, here's what happened. Okay. Um, a couple people actually contacted me. Oh. All right? And said, Phil, you know, we're very interested in maybe doing a montage of this kind for you. Ooh. We're big fans, and, you know, Ooh. we really liked your Dark Souls Re Redemption run, <clears throat> and I'd like to put something together for you. So, by the way, this means, again, this is not even his idea. So, <laughs> if he, we, those people are to, believed, to be believed, which, we, we, who knows. In fact, it was three people. Oh, who three. Contacted a lot of people. To, do, to say this to me. And I was like, well, that's interesting. And, you know, I talked to these people. And, it, you know, come to find out these people are not, you know, they're big fans. They're not looking for anything financial. But what they'd like to maybe do is get their name out there. Because <laughs> uh, they all have their own YouTube channels. You said the key point right there, brother. <laughs> And they'd like to maybe get some more exposure for their own YouTube channels. Ooh, exposure. Okay. My favorite and style of payment. to make their own take on kind of a Dark Souls montage. Ah. So I said, hey, you know, no pressure. If you don't do it, don't worry. But if you want to work on it and make one and some... Our big guy's saying, how would you convince Phil to put in more effort? Ooh, okay. That, no, that's, a, that's a question. That's a good question. All right, can so, I, I, that's that's a group think question. All right, I'm gonna try to remember that. If I don't remember that, someone ask in chat today, and that's a good question to debate. Actually, is how could we convince him to put in more effort? Submit it to me, and I'll take a look. And as long as it looks good, obviously, I don't want it to look like, like terrible. But yeah, if not it's a terrible. Good looking montage. I would be willing to, you know, uh, post it up. Oh my god! And basically, it would be a new program for Ko Gaming. New program, which I'm dude? gonna call Ko Community Creations. Yeah. Oh, Ko Community Creations. That name doesn't stick, by the way. He cha he calls it about four different things. Uh, but this is a new program. <laughs> I love how he makes it a program. This is a brand new thing that I'm starting. Cock. <laughs> and the way it's going to work is people can take my gameplay from my okay. playthroughs Whoa. and make fun montages. All right. And if they're okay with the fact that it's going to be on my channel, submit the video to me and I will post it up and actually edit it a little bit to have an intro to explain, oh, this is a montage from so-and-so. Go check out their YouTube channel, you know, and then it'll get it'll get some exposure. Oh, right. That's how KO you're paying Gaming. them. Okay, got it. So this is funny because last year when I started with KO Gaming, if you guys remember in the intros of the videos, I would say, Phil here for KO Gaming. Gaming. And everyone's like, why do you say he's he's here for KO Gaming? <laughs> no, because you sound very special when you say, Phil here for KO Gaming. 
okay, Phil here for KO Gaming. And everyone's <laughs> like, why would say he's he's here for KO Gaming? It makes him sound like there's more than one person who's going to be working on KO Gaming. Well, actually, that was one of my original ideas. Oh, did I miss one I wanted Sam? to do that. Oh, God. But I didn't get around to it. Okay. Oh, sorry so now, about that one. God. Here we go. Um, here's the deal. Here's how it's going to work is, you know, if people watch a playthrough of mine, they really enjoy it and they want to do a fan made montage. Now, keep in mind. Why do you add that part? If they watch my if they if they watch my gameplay and really enjoyed it. What, what who would say that playthrough of mine? They really enjoy it. Oh, and they want to do a fan made montage. Now, keep in mind, oh, there are uh -huh. going to be uh -huh. criteria. Right. Thank you for real. You know, your membership. people I have to legally that. give me permission to use this video. Okay, so got I have it. to have it in writing so that way there's no leg to stand on. If this asshole all of a sudden, you know, oh, I was a hidden detractor and I was trying to get filled. I lied 13, the whole time. And I want to do a false copyright strike. Well, tough titties. Whoa, because as long as I have it in writing, you don't have a leg to stand on. And by the way, YouTube won't care because you. YouTube has all protections against this stuff now. All okay, so why are you worried about it then? Copyright days are pretty much behind us, which is a good thing. Why are you worried about it then? So anyway. Anyways. Um, yeah. Uh, and also, of course, there's going to be quality. I understand there may be people who want to submit montages, but, oh, it's my first attempt ever, and they, it comes out terrible. Damn. You know, I'm not going to just put anything up on KO Gaming. There's going to be some quality criteria as well. Oh, quality to criteria. I'm be considering showcasing. I mean, keep in mind that KO Gaming, it's not a huge channel. No. But it is a channel with over 20,000 subs, and on average, the videos that I put up there get around five to 10,000 views each. Whoa. So you got to understand that this is a video that maybe would have gotten like a couple hundred views is now going to get thousands and thousands, so I have to have <laughs> some kind of a quality control. Okay? Oh, for the, for the privilege of posting on KO Gaming, you have to follow the high hurdles of quality controls. Got it. And it's all for free, by the way. Thank you. So anyway. Oh, okay. Um, anyway. Yeah, that's the deal. Now, here's the thing. Like I said, these people contacted me like two weeks ago and have been working on these. I just got my first submission today, and it's about 25 minutes long. I watched two minutes of it, and I fucking cracked up laughing. Remember, cracked up laughing? We're going to watch that one. Obviously, we're not going to watch all those submissions because they're too fucking long. But we're going to watch some of them. So remember his review of the first one? He cracked up laughing. Let's see if you crack up laughing, too. Maybe you will. So... I think this is going to be very successful. It's going to be something that people are going to like. Oh. And, you know, if people have the time and want to do this kind of stuff, it's a creative outlet for them to get their, uh, <laughs> get some views. You know what I mean? Ah. On their videos that otherwise they wouldn't get. But it's a win-win for me because they're using my content to make an entertaining montage. And, you know, obviously, if I post it up on my channel, I make a little bit of money out of it. That works, too. Ah. And it also works because now there will be constant content for KO Gaming. It's going to be <laughs> reviews. It's going to be, you know, montages. It's going to be first impressions videos. Compare it like this comparison video I'm going to do for Resident Evil Man, 7. Man, he had some real illusions of grandeur for this program. I'll tell you that. What he's talking about, I think I said about 18,000 videos. 18 different t types of videos. First impressions videos, compare it like this comparison video yeah, I'm going to do for okay. Resident Evil 7 in VR. It's going to be a lot of stuff. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So it's going to be a lot of fun, I think. If it works out, we got to see, you know, this is just the first take at it. And I'm very happy that, you know, there was so much interest in the Dark Souls Redemption run that I had three people contact me. Um, the other, By the way, one of the other people actually contacted me and said, I, you know, I'm almost done with mine. So, and the other thing is, I think that if this would really show off people's creative differences. Like one person, for example, oh my god, may just make a straight up montage where it's, oh, here are my personal, you know, favorite moments from the from your playthrough. Yeah. While another person may do a fails montage, right, with overlays and funny text and stuff. It could be a <laughs> lot of difference between these montages. It's not always going to be the same thing. Uh, overlays and funny text. So. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's, Let's do some overlays and funny text, guys. See what happens. Okay. We'll go from there, but coming up shortly, you may, I'll announce it obviously, but you may start seeing fan made montages appear on KO Gaming. Uh oh. And it's something different, but it's going to be something a lot of fun, I think. It's going to okay? be a lot of fun. Especially, again, for those who don't have time to watch my full playthroughs, but still want to get a dose of the kind of stuff that I do here daily, this is going to be your cup of tea. Oh, it's going to be our All cup right? of tea, guys. Sweet. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Are we done? Thank you, everyone. That's the pre-stream. Oh, it's I long, love the pre-stream. There was a lot to talk about today. Oh, definitely. Okay. All right. Let us begin. Yakuza Zero. I'm excited. Hope you're excited. Like this a lot. 
Want to see what happens? All right, so the date there is February 1st. Just want to keep that in your mind. February 1st style. Next up is the next announcement, February 3rd, two days later, and we're going to hear another spiel about KO Gaming Community Submissions. Let's see how say let's see how much of the same shit he says again. That's the real challenge here. I'm sure it's going to be almost exactly the same. Here we go. So that's going to be fun. No, oh, it's got to be so fun. Uh, the only thing I have to talk about on pre-stream, everyone, is I want to bring up the Ko Gaming Community Submissions Program. <laughs> so we already changed, okay. right? We already uh, changed. I thought it was cock. KO Gaming Community Creations. Now in the second mention on the channel, the second mention, the name is now gone. It is the K KO Gaming Community Submissions. That's why I changed, the, that's what I named it, the stream that, because he uses that the most, but. Community Submissions. <laughs> now it's, program. now it's Cox. <laughs> okay. Um, here's the deal. I announced this yesterday on okay. my Q&A show, Ask the King. Okay, well, I don't know it? how many people have checked out we checked it out already. Ask the King yet. We checked it out. But people have been looking for a way to participate and to interact and to be more of a part of, you know, my YouTube Sending stuff. you a video is not interacting. Uh, for years. It's sending you a video. I never really had a, a video. way for them to do that besides maybe submitting fan art and stuff like that. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so in that regard, I, oh. in the past month, got tons of requests uh, for people, from people, saying, Phil, are you going to do montages? of your playthroughs this year. And I said, I'd love to, but I don't have the time to do yes, it. You, you know, I'm playing constantly doing gameplay and stuff. How am I going to do montages? Uh, 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 you said you have time at night to do these editing style videos, which seems like everyone's saying they want to hear, see, so it seems like you might want to put that on the front burner of this business, but I don't know. Um, unless you want me to do less gameplay, which means I cover way less games. Uh, so I, I was contacted that. by a couple people who were actually interested in doing a montage of my Dark Souls Redemption Run playthrough. And they actually have now both... Both? Uh, ...given me their montages of the Dark Souls Redemption Run. And boy, they are great. One of them is more focused on... <clears throat> uh, Every death, but then also it fo focuses in on some of the things that necessarily weren't deaths, but were epic parts of the playthrough, like the Ornstein and Smile fight, stuff like that. <laughs> Smile um, fight? Some good music and stuff in that one, pretty good. Pretty good. The other one is more focused on the deaths themselves, and it has some funny, like, text overlays and memes and stuff thrown oh, into it. Oh, those are many That's hilarious. That's pretty entertaining. I like what, the, what that guy did with some of the stuff. And it's funny, because it's two people... Basically making the same video, but taking two completely different methods to oh, do it. Oh, it's so it. funny. That's and hilarious. I watch both, and I like both. I think they're both hilarious. Oh, God. So, the way that this works. Oh, Bell. Turn down your bass. Both, and I like both. I think they're both hilarious. I'll try to catch so, it again. So, the way that this works, and I like both. I think they're both hilarious. Two seconds. We have liftoff. <laughs> so, the way that this works is if you're a fan of mine, if you watch my stuff, you like my stuff, all right? Any of my gameplay, Oh, I right? do love your stuff. And you want to do you. some kind of a montage. Uh -huh. And maybe you're looking to get some promotion for yourself. Maybe you want to promote your own YouTube channel. Maybe yeah, you oh, want to promote yes. uh, your own business. Maybe you have a video editing business or you're, you're training for it. Maybe you're in school for it and you want to show off some of your yes. skills. Yes, uh, the Pixar is going to be in contact with Philip Burnell. They want to get some promotion here. Pixar, please get in contact. They want video <laughs> editors. Free, though. The plugs for it or anything like that? Uh-huh. Contact me. Shoot me an email, darksidephilahotmail.com, or oh, you can send me a private message on my forums on thekingofhate.com. Let me know what you have in mind. At this point, I would say nothing with Dark Souls because I already have two different ones. And by the way, I will be uh, releasing these montages of Dark Souls this coming week on KO Gaming. So this week there's going to be some fun stuff on KO Gaming completely out of the norm that normally you wouldn't see and I think people are really going to like it. Okay? <sighs> completely out of the norm that you normally wouldn't see. So yeah, those are coming up this week and I mean there's tons of stuff that could be done. Just think, you could do any of my recent playthroughs like Zelda Ocarina of Time or Resident Evil 7 I'm sure. Coming up with Neo is going to be definitely one of them. <laughs> Here's some examples of stuff you could make for me. All right, definitely. Okay. I think people could figure it out. Um, but also, 
any of the classics. You know, there's tons. How many playthroughs have I done? Hundreds? Thousands? I don't even know. How many how many playlists do I actually have on YouTube at this point? Probably less than a thousand, I would think. But there's a lot of potential there. Okay? A lot of potential, dude. Any of the stuff that I've ever done, if you were interested in doing montages and stuff, <clears throat> contact, me, contact me and let me know. Let me know what you have in mind. Please don't spend a ton of time doing it without contacting me first. Because I am going to tell you, I said this yesterday and I'll say it again. There is going to be a screening process. Ooh. Obviously, um, obviously, what I want to do is I want to make sure that everything that I put on KO Gaming has a quality control aspect to it. And has a quality control aspect to it. <laughs> you know what he's trying to say, but it's not the right way to say it. Everything on KO Gaming is going to have a quality control aspect to it. So everything on KO Gaming can decide the quality. Oh, interesting. Very cool product. And I understand there will probably be people who maybe have never done video editing before and, oh, I want to do something for Phil. That's cool. But understand that it does have to be kind of decent. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it can't suck. Especially it can't if it's going to be, you know, showcased on a channel that has over 20,000 subs. I don't oh. want to just throw anything on there and then turn off the subscribers. He loves saying that, doesn't he? It has over 20,000 subscribers, so it's kind of a big deal. It's on YouTube. Ever heard of it? Okay. 20,000 subscribers. Uh, I work for YouTube, so thank you. So understand, you know, there is going to be some kind of a, a screening process. I don't want people just submitting stuff willy-nilly to me. Please let me know ahead of time if you're willy -nilly. interested in possibly doing something for this program. Uh, run it by me. I'll let you know what I think. And we'll go back and forth. That's actually how these Dark Souls montages came to be. The people contacted me first and let me know what they wanted to do. And I went back to them. We went back and forth a little bit. And then finally they resulted in the final okay. product. Definitely. So. Definitely. <laughs> Okay. You okay, okay now? Okay. There you go. The KO Gaming what? Community Submissions Program. Okay, Submissions Program now. Uh, by which you can... KO Gaming Submissions... K Coxp. Submit your own montage content and get it featured on the channel and get some free promotion out of it. And it helps me have a lot of variety for the channel between the time that I have to do reviews and other kinds of edited content. It gives me something else to put up on the channel. So... Could be pretty successful. I think it's going to be a good idea. Okay. <laughs> Could be pretty successful. I think it's going to be a good idea. I'm glad I thought of it. All right. Um, I really don't have anything else to talk about on pre-stream, so I'll just very quickly run through the plugs here. As you can oh, see, I'm not going to hear any plugs. Shout-outs to the Black Current, though. We always want to say shout-outs to the Black Current. All right. That was February 3rd. We jump forward to February 4th. I'll probably be doing a incredibly long playthrough i'll probably be doing a first impressions video of it okay so that'll be pretty cool um in addition coming up this week ladies and gentlemen this is so painful I have my first two submissions he says the same thing like so many different times and ways Gins. for the <laughs> ko community submissions program by which K wait wait i thought it's not ko game it's ko now? submit for the ko community submissions program Oh, so now we lost gaming. It's the KO Community Submission Program, not KO Gaming anymore. It's the KO Community Submissions Program. Sweet. By which people submit montages, their fan-made montages of their favorite playthroughs of mine. Both of these montages are for Dark Souls, the Redemption Run, which I All get right. back in We're mid to watch late that January. In a second. Get hyped. Um, these are good. Because they take on that redemption run in different ways. One of them is more of a purist's all the deaths lined up with some kind of text and jokes and memes and stuff kind of superimposed in it. While the old superimposed in it. <laughs> like it's it's totally not like it's not the wrong word, but it's just like no one that actually makes videos would say that. <laughs> No one that makes no one that makes the say you don't play is say like oh I'm gonna superimpose this meme of Shia LaBeouf here it's gonna be awesome let me superimpose this meme of you of Phil jerking off other one oh, let's superimpose that hey the outsider I recommend superimposing uh, Phillips head flying back during the incident in that in that in that uh, the say you don't play what do you think has all the deaths as well but that one also focuses on some of the biggest triumphs of the playthrough and that one's done a little bit differently having background music and stuff. Too. Uh, Jay Wusso says, do you think he realizes that he gets stuck in autism loop almost every day? No, I don't think he knows. I, no, I think he thinks people like this. Like, this is what people do. I really think he thinks like Sir Moist does this too. In his mind, in his heart of hearts. Even when he watches Sir Moist, I bet he, like Sir Moist will say like, all right guys, yesterday we played, um, we played Final Fantasy VII and that was pretty cool. That was a pretty fun day. And then in his mind, he'll take that as 
saying like, yeah, so you see, uh, uh, Sir Moist does the same thing I do. He talked about what he did yesterday, what he's planning to do today. He does the same exact thing, but Sir Moist does it in two sentences, you know? But he'll take that as Sir Moist does exactly what I do. That's how he lives his life, I bet, you know? to it so both both of these montages in my opinion are pretty good and i'll be releasing both of those all right this week on ko gaming so this week on ko gaming has been pretty exciting first of all yesterday and, if you're and not spoiler alert here this is one of the biggest mistakes he does with this program the Con ko gaming community creation and ko gaming community submission program and ko community submission program is that in total in total my friends there were nine submissions Nine videos released. Nine. He is bukkakiing them out here like they're never going to end. As usual, by the way, which is totally in his personality. But if you really scheduled these out, and you could have had way more. But he just decides to bust them up as soon as he gets them. He releases two in one week. There's a total of nine of these guys. <laughs> He's releasing two in the first week of their existence. And there's nine total cocks. It's amazing. It's how can you fuck this up? <laughs> Aware, I released my video <clears throat> on playing Resident Evil 7 with the PlayStation VR and what I feel are the positives and negatives of doing so and whether or not I honestly feel it is necessary for you to have the PlayStation VR to actually enjoy Resident Evil 7. Let me sadly, guess, you don't need it. A lot of people on YouTube seem to be saying, it's the definitive way to play the game and you gotta really have it if you want oh, it. Oh yeah, he got buried for that, by the way. He, he, he's so, we're not gonna watch it because it's like on YouTube seem to be for half an hour bullshit as you can expect. But he got buried for that. And he was, def that's all those tweets, like during that time, he was defending that like crazy. Uh, it, all, all the fucking comments are negative, basically. Oh and uh, he God, obviously got butthurt by it. <laughs> Just like it's going to happen on his fucking, if he goes put politics. To be saying, it's the definitive way to play the game and you got to really have it if you want to experience Resident Evil 7. You know, I, being a very honest person, kind of outlined all the positives and negatives and obviously it's up to people to judge for themselves but I give you my full bodied opinion in this video <laughs> so that full, really full bodied opinion full bodied opinion it's like a full bodied Italian sauce boys a full bodied wine actually full bodied robust great nose <laughs> and he got the full bodied opinion but I give you my full bodied opinion in this video <laughs> so that i released for ko gaming last body, night dude and like i said we'll have some dark souls montages coming up for you soon this week and my first impressions on neo all coming up on ko gaming this week so ko gaming is going to be very busy this week with new yeah. stuff i think people and are really going to enjoy that. it Okay. Uh-huh. Great idea. Um, outside of all that, I don't really have much else to talk about. There's one thing I would like to talk about quickly. So clearly you do have something to talk about. Jump right into gameplay. Right. What is it? In fact, today, I'm not even going to do plugs. How about that? No plugs Whoa. today. Because I just don't feel like doing them. Oh, my God. What a saint. Somehow there's still eight minutes left in this pre-stream, though. And that's how I roll. Okay. <clears throat> the one thing I do want to mention is something very quickly about headphones. Quickly. Okay. When I started direct capture and live streaming back in 2013, yeah, I know, people are going to be like, holy shit, it was four years ago when I first uh, kind of adjusted and started doing direct capture versus uh, using a camera and all of that, all right? Very different situation. Uh, from today, today I do it, you know, non-stop. Everything I do is direct capture. Everything's live stream. Back then, I just adjusted from doing that camera oh God, to going this? to direct capture. <clears throat> and I didn't know at that point anything about headphones because I was just using headphones for the first time. Before that, I was always using my surround sound speakers. Um, so it was a big adjustment for me, okay? Uh -huh. <clears throat> oh! At the time, it was a big adjustment for me. Okay. Stand by for liftoff in three, two, one. We have liftoff. At the time, <laughs> I bought three. Now keep in mind, this is a time when I was making way more money than I do today. Ah. I bought three different sets of headphones. <laughs> 
to use <laughs> well, with my direct capture setup. One was the Turtle Beach XP7. Who ear does this? I need new headphones, so I'm going to buy three sets and don't return any of them. If you return them, all right, I'm down with it because, like, Amazon makes returns, like, so fucking easy. So why not, really? But he didn't even return them. Air Force headphones. Second was the Triton. Triton. Uh, Pro. Triton Pro. I can't see the last word of it. Basically, the Triton Pro headphones. Okay. And then lastly, I bought the Astro <laughs> A40 headphones. All I'll remember that for next time, Chetty Tate. Houston, we have gout. <laughs> All of them were wired headphone sets that worked both with the Xbox 360 and the PS3. I mean, those were the consoles at the time, right? Now, the good news is these headphones also work with the modern consoles. So it wasn't like I bought all these headphones and then immediately when PS4 and Xbox One came out, they were outdated or anything. No, it's very much not the case, okay? Okay. But here's what happened. I started off using the Turtle Beach headphones, and I love them. I don't them. know why we're listening to this. I don't, this has nothing to do with the content. We're, the, today's uh, schedules. I mean, today's schedule. <laughs> Humidity boundary warning. Humidity boundary warning. <laughs> Big ups, Grimpus. We're not listening to this anymore. We're just, why are we listening to a free stream about nothing? All right. Now, it is now February 5th. No cock submissions yet, but we're getting close. This is the day before the first ever cock submission. I talked to Patreon about it, and they have no solution. Okay, Patreon. I don't care about Patreon. I mean, so I do, please, but... if you think I owe you a perk of any sort, yes, let you me do. know and we'll get it sorted out. Okay, please. but that's tonight working on Patreon stuff. Now, it, right now it's already almost 7.30 p.m. my time. Whoa. If I can get the Patreon stuff sorted out relatively quickly, <gasps> what I want to do, I want to take the very first KO Gaming Community Submission, which is a montage of the best moments of my that's Dark Souls high. Redemption Run playthrough, and I want to <laughs> release that on KO Gaming. But what I need to do is I need to edit in an intro for it. Oh. I need to give a shout-out and plugs to the person who made it, because <clears throat> it's only it's only fair. It wouldn't be fair to me just post the raw video and no shout-outs or nothing on it. That would be Remember, he said he has to edit it, and this is a lot of work. So we're going to watch the intro and outro. Let's see how awesome they are, right? He put a lot of work into these. Incredibly unfair. That was the whole point of the KO community program, is that you give me a video, a montage that you made, and you get free promotion out of it. Okay? Ah, oh, free <clears throat> promotion. Got it. Got but it. Cool. I don't That's know if I'm going to have time to do that tonight. I'd uh -oh. love to do it, but it depends on how long it takes me to get through the Patreon stuff. If I have time for it, the very first ever KO Gaming community creation will release tonight on KO Gaming. It's going to be a great one. I have two of these Dark Souls montages. One is more of the best moments. One is more of just focusing on the deaths with funny memes and stuff in it. This is the more plain one that's just the best moments. You'll see they're very different, but they're both really good videos. So oh. I'll see if I can get that out tonight. Tomorrow, Monday. All right. <clears throat> I will be returning to Yakuza His Zero. His arms my are going nuts. All right. Here we go. So that is, that is the... We have heard that the first one will be released today. And he was not lying. It was... It was released uh, the very next day. So February 6, 2017. Let's say hello to the first ever cock submission together here. Let's listen to this amazingly edited. What is going on, everyone? <laughs> oh, Phil KO Gaming voice warning, guys. If, you, if you're trigger warning, the KO Gaming voice. If you want to turn down the volume, go ahead now. Here we go. This is the... Uh, here we go. We're not trying to watch this whole thing, but let's watch a little bit. What is going on, everyone? Phil here, and welcome to KO Gaming for something <laughs> completely different. This video <laughs> something completely different. KO is the official launch of the KO Gaming Community Submissions Program, by which you, the viewers, oh, can whoa, submit. Whoa, 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 whoa! KO Gaming Community Creation Submissions Program. This is the fourth name. We have reached the fourth name in one week, all right? In one week. We started with the KO Gaming Community Creation Program. Then we went to the KO Gaming Community Submissions Program. Then we went to the KO Community Submissions Program. And now finally we have the KO Gaming Community Creation Submissions Program. <laughs> <laughs> it's evolving, dude. Awesome. Hell yeah. Make <laughs> your own mod. <laughs> <Cox> <laughs> it's the cocks. <laughs> 
montages of my raw gameplay from my daily live streams on Twitch TV, as well as my raw playthroughs from my other YouTube channel, DSP Gaming. It could be any playthrough. It could be a montage of fails, of funny moments, of rages, of anything that you think would be entertaining to my viewership. Please contact me at darksidephil at hotmail.com <laughs> I know the music so funny. Message on my king of hate. He's so happy, like the king of the king of love music here. The king of chill. Contact me at darksidephil at hotmail.com or send me a private message on my king of hate.com forums to let me know if you have a particular project in mind. Today, the very first submission ever comes from Sky Sands 2008. Oh yeah. A viewer who has been doing some awesome oh, things. Now at least this guy seems like a you know this guy's a, a, a awesome dude. Let's let's check out his YouTube channel. Let's see. So we have one video, Vine Sauce, Vinny Bloodborne. So no videos from this Sky Sands, unfortunately. Uh, but shout outs to Sky Sands for the first ever Cox program submission. You are a legend, Sky Sands. Get help. Seriously, get help. I hope you and found it. As of late, and in particular, really enjoyed my Dark Souls. Oh my God, look at this fan art. <laughs> I love that he thought this was cool, you know? You know he thought this looks cool. Like, this does not look cool. <laughs> Some awesome fan art as of late and in particular really enjoyed my Dark Souls Redemption Run playthrough and made his own personal montage of the best moments. Without further ado, the very first ever KO Community Creation submission, well, the best fun. of Dark Souls The Redemption Run. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck that shit. Let's do this. Dark Souls, motherfucker. You beat me in 2011. You beat me in 2013. Oh God, so chill. Now it's so my fucking cringe, turn, baby. Yeah. At my fucking right. game, baby. Yeah. I think we've done it. Hell Except. yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. We love Let's wrestling. We do love wrestling, don't we? And then. Hello. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh! I didn't know he could do that. Music too loud. Oh God! Oh! I can't kill this fucking guy. I'm dead. Stupid. The music is way too oh loud. Oh my God! It killed me. I can't move. This is awesome, dude. I'm cracking up. <laughs> I mean, are you guys cracking up? Comboed me. I didn't try to heal. I didn't try to heal. I don't know what happened. Wow, I healed while on fire. Nothing I can do there. I mean, it it, sh it, I, it has to be, away, right? He wouldn't put it up there, Steve, if it wasn't. <laughs> you know he checked that shit. God He's only it. in this for the views. <laughs> wow, still getting wrecked, though. All right, we'll check out the comments, too, in wow, a second, because I don't think they're going to be positive. Whatever. I'm so bummed. <laughs> Editing. You get what you pay for. Exactly. That's it. This fucking music, dude. Turn it down a bit. Yeah, I'm saying, but it, it has to be. It has to pass through the. It, it has to have passed through the. Um, uh, what's it called? What is it called? What, you know what I'm saying? The fucking copyright shit. Because he wouldn't put it up there. He, you, he, you're telling me he didn't check that? He has to check that. Goodbye. There Misty we go. Joke. There we go. Most people do. Cock standards, I got it. Wow, fuck. <laughs> what? Alright, this That's is so stat. this is so dumb. And oh my god, he fucking killed It's like the worst this that you don't play shit, ever. Man. What? Wow, what? Huh? The animation didn't even work. Did you see okay. that? This is really good. I'm oh loving this. Oh my god, dude, so laggy right now. Oh my god. Blame it on the lag. All right, let's go towards the end so we can see the awesome outro that wow, Philip made, remember? Nice. I'm so done with this. This is how you dent play. <laughs> this oh, is how you dent play. Oh. Never mind. Uh, he was. Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna get into it in the next section here. This is. This is. Uh. It's a part. I have a. It's a five-part saga in my plans here. Uh. He gets into that. He does. He does not want this to be called. This is how you don't play. By the way, at this point, this is not. This is how you don't play. Remember, this is not. Uh, this is how you don't play. This is a montage or the best of. And he goes to great lengths to not say this is how you don't play. 
what? But that will change as everything else fucking does in, in Philip's world. Oh my god. I killed it! I did it! You got me. Wow! Got him. Yeah! Aha. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Watch this. Yeah, got him. Yeah. It's very cool. Look at this. Very hardcore. This guy's very masculine. Got him. This guy's definitely a badass. Watch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, very, God. very tough. Oh, my God. One more hit. Got him. I'm dead. Got him. Yep. Oh my god. This is so bad. I'm going. destroyed his ass. God damn, dude. Oh, you I'm destroyed. not going to light it. Fuck that. You're badass, dude. I'm going to put the fire out. I think I did it by accident. I didn't want to do that. Oh, well. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoy Dark Souls The Redemption oh. Run. I want to thank everyone who is here with me every day on stream. People who watch the playthrough on YouTube. I believe this was his most successful playthrough of all time. Right? I believe. If memory serves. Awesome. Monetarily, I really I mean. enjoyed going through the game one time legitimately now years and years later. It was a lot of fun. And, uh, I mean, there are plenty of other games that perhaps in the future I'll go back to. Hint, hint. Games that I really sucked at the first time around. Maybe now with a lot more knowledge and a lot more kind of patience uh, under my wing as a gamer being on YouTube for eight years now. Maybe I'll go back kind of patience uh, under my wing. A lot more on patience under my wing. All that patience under my wing. Got it. Years now, That's, maybe. I'll, makes sense. Got it. I'll go back to some other games. I don't know. But anyway, uh -huh. I hope you enjoyed this Stuff one. Stuff that patience under that the is wing. It. Peace out. Yep. All right, and that is it for the very first KO Gaming Community submission from SkySands2008. If you'd like to check out more of his content, in particular, he plays a ton of From Software games, Whoa. check it out at youtube.com forward slash user forward slash SkySands2008. And also, keep your eyes peeled as he's making lots more fan art for my pre-streams, social <laughs> media, and a lot of future playthroughs. Right, that's cool. I mean, I'll give him credit. That's better art than we see on this channel. SkySands has some art talent, but not video making talent I'd say at this point in his career who knows what he could become he's a great artist and I really do appreciate his work if you like this video please give it a like here on YouTube and please consider subscribing here to KO gaming not only for highly edited game reviews first impressions I love when he says this highly edited if you've seen anything on DSP fucking throwback oh no not throw excuse me I, I read the n wrong name KO gaming Nothing is highly edited. Nothing. Nothing is highly edited. Nothing! He talks over clips that don't have anything to do with what he's talking about. And please consider subscribing here to KO Gaming, not only for highly edited game reviews, first impressions videos, but also for future submissions. Tell me where the highly edited is. content just like this. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Peace out. Oh, this is good. Dark Side of Phil, understanding streamer's longest running e-bagger. Oh, we can watch that. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so that was the first one ever. Very positive and meaningful. But you know we have to check the comments, right? So, let's check the comments. Let's uh, first comment with the most likes. Oh, let's do it sort by top. Music selection is atrocious. Music is way too loud. Editing is choppy and amateurish. I assume Sky Sands 2008 will be adequately compensated for his work. <laughs> That's not going to happen, brother. <laughs> May God have mercy on his soul, since we do not. Should have done this thing a long time ago, Phil, like back in 2010. Great point. The music was too loud. Nice. Thanks, Phil. Oh, no. See, I feel kind of bad for Sky Sands because you know they're a fan of Philip. That means they're not the strongest of mind at this point in their life. Some people are... Let's see if they're positive. Um, you did a really sweet-ass job, dude. Sons of Kojima, you got some nerve. Are you... I don't know. All right, whatever. Nothing new here. It's more of a death reel than a best moments. All deaths, but missing some pretty funny moments that don't include dying. It's good either way, pretty to have fans work dead to have fans work dedicated like this. <laughs> Avoid enemies, grab items, run, repeat. LOL. 
<laughs> now, this is creative. Phil thinking outside of the box. Is he thinking outside of the box by telling people to make him content? <laughs> uh, anyways. As you can see, uh, not the strongest of... Uh, some people like it. Some people didn't. For exposure. Big ups to for exposure. But any, but anyways, as you can see, how this was made was definitely to try to be a this is how you don't play, right? I mean, that's what it was, right? Without, you know, some of the fun parts of this is how you don't plays. Of the, you know, the things that make this is how you don't plays fun. <laughs> you know, that's what it was. But again, we can't call it a this is how you don't play because we can't do that. <laughs> you know that. All right. So as we, as we, uh, as we mentioned, um, uh, he, the next one in the list... Uh, there was no mention of there was no real mention of it for a little bit, but three days later, guys, you you heard the whole talk up, right? I showed you all the talk up to the first uh, Dark Souls cock program submission. All right, now out of nowhere, with no build up, we get the Resident Evil Seven the mini montage Ko Gaming submission. So three days later, you get this. So let's enjoy it together. Um, yeah, this one came out. Let's see. The first one. Let me make sure I get my timeline right. So the first one came out. The Best of Dark Souls Redemption Run. February 6th. Excuse me. Four days. Excuse me. Four days. Uh, so here we go. Four days later, we get the mini montage KO Gaming submission. Let's go. What is going on, everyone? Phil here, and welcome to... Oh, what is God, going sorry. on, everyone? Phil here, and welcome to KO Gaming. It is time for another KO Gaming community submission video. This time in particular, regarding my Resident Evil 7 playthrough. Today's submission comes from viewer Alex, who really liked my playthrough of the recent return to the core survival horror formula with Resident Evil 7. He made a mini montage featuring some pretty funny stuff. This doesn't necessarily feature one particular kind of footage or gameplay <laughs> Watch over Mojo another, voice. but it still is <laughs> Pretty quick and interesting. It's short and sweet. Without further like when I hear that Watch Mojo voice, it's the fastest turn off of all time. The fastest. And also, there's another one that are instant turn offs. It's the uh, wa uh, Watch Mojo or or Ko Gaming voice. And also when it's like you know channels that are like playing Minecraft, but they're made for kids, and they like over the like you think Phil does clown mode. Some of these dudes on YouTube that are chasing the algorithm with Minecraft and stuff. They go, it, I don't know what the word for it is, but it's worse than cloud mode. Every single thing is, whoa, whoa, creeper, whoa, whoa, he almost got me there. And they get like fucking millions of views, dude, some of them. The sad side of the YouTube, which would kind of be a deep dive, interesting deep dive, is the people that are chasing that but haven't caught the algorithm. So there's people doing that screaming and shit, and they got like... 20 views, you know, and that's kind of sad, you know, because they're like, they're giving it their all clearly being a clown, like a clown without an audience is kind of the saddest thing, right? And that's, that's what those videos are is, is like clowns with no audience, but you still have to act like the clown. You know what I mean? And that's, it's, it's, it's depressing. <laughs> Further ado, let's check out the best of Resident Evil 7 mini montage. All right, mini montage. Big ups. Let's see how much we can watch of this. Hello, guys! Where'd he come from? I think he fucking curb stops you. What a bastard. Go tell Adderody. Okay. Down I'm down for that. Oh, but... shit! <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Go tell Adderody. No, I'm gonna take you for a ride. Don't tell <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, VI. That's very cool. Like this. At least they're trying. This person's trying more. I'll say that. I think I could have shot him. <laughs> hey, baby. Ah. I just wanted to say Ugh. a quick hello, and I love you. Oh, uh, hi, Butterface. Oh, good news. I'm oh my God. That's the joke. Oh, hi, Butterface. That's the joke. <laughs> All right, Alex. Let's check out what Alex's been up to. He's a very great sense of humor, so I can't wait to see what his channel is. His channel name is now Goat Emoji. 
Concentrated pygnosis. <gasps> he broke pygnosis. Look at this. He broke pygnosis. I clicked it. Look, Alex. Okay, I know you can't see it, but here's the channel. Alex Devine. I'm going to click it so you can see. I'm clicking it there. I just clicked it. And it's goat emoji. He broke pygnosis. Let's see this video. What is going on? Oh, everyone? shut up. Let's see what he's doing. <laughs> he broke pygnosis. Hell yeah. Is this literally 20 minutes of this? It is. If it was shorter, I could put it on WPIG, but 20 minutes, I can't do that. Uh, channel script. I have to warn everybody. Warning, which you may feel right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. <laughs> oh, Dark Dave's Mirrors in the comments. I can't scroll down anymore, but it says, uh, this is the quality content I expect to find on YouTube. Big ups to Dark Dave Mirror. I don't recognize anybody else, but... All right, so this guy broke pygnosis. Well, shout outs to you. Goat emoji. <laughs> Danny Darko, big ups for, for doing the meme. Felt the need to give you money for some reason. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> All right, well, that's a happy ending, maybe. Return to the core survival horror formula with Resident Evil 7. He made a mini montage featuring some pretty funny stuff. Oh, cares? <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. Good face. Good news. Okay, butterface. Got the piece of the puzzle. Surprise, oh, Jesus. motherfucker. <laughs> he's regenerating. Okay, this guy's putting in more work though. So you can tell he's, you know, a cut cut above the last guy. Yep. What? Alright, maybe not. Spoke too soon. What the hell? It's a trap, watch. He kicked me in. Oh my god. Yep, surprise. Was, was this a troll? Motherfucker. I knew it. The joke was Clifford? I love that he says groovy just like Ash. Stay back, I got a chainsaw. <laughs> Alright, like it's 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 better than the last guy. Like I'm not laughing still, but I mean this guy cared a little bit. Let's let's hear the let's watch the ending. Sure. Who is he? It's Leon, it's Chris, it's someone. See a crazy ass and trip. It's Jill Valentine. I'm Redfield. What? Oh. Supposed to be Chris Redfield. Oh. Right. Spoilers, by the way. Yeah, spoilers. Holy shit. All right. Are we done? Alright. Alright. I'm trying to stick with you, buddy. Alright, well, that was pretty good. And if you enjoyed that video, please check out Alex. <laughs> Look at that URL. <laughs> he wrote out the entire URL. Oh, let me check out this guy. Hang on. Let, let me let me uh let me check this out. Hold on a second. Channel slash. Okay, hang on. U C D A V W six V six two two L C E X F Y five Y Z P F G. And some are oddly uppercase, and some are oddly lowercase. Okay, very cool. <laughs> Alex's YouTube channel. <laughs> yes, I know this is one of the most complex links you've probably ever seen in your life. So yes. I've also put this in the description of the video if you just want to simply copy paste or click it and check it out for yourself. Copy paste or click it. Uh -huh. No, I want to copy paste it. That's it for this KO Gaming Community submission. If you are interested in making your own montage no, to be highlighted am. right here on the channel, please send me an email to darksidephil at hotmail.com or send me a private message on my thekingofhate.com forums. Thanks for watching, everyone. And if you liked this video in particular, consider giving it a like here on YouTube and definitely subscribe right here to KO Gaming where you're going to see lots more of this fan-made stuff coming up in the future. Also, be sure to check out the video description for 
some fun stuff, including a link to my raw playthrough of Resident <laughs> Evil 7 all over on my DSP Gaming YouTube channel. Oh, I gotta as see well that. As well as a Loot Crate discount code and my Patreon. Thanks very much, oh, everyone, Patreon, for watching. And I'll see you next time for another KO Gaming community submission. Peace out. Your Patreon is definitely fun. It's where I can give you money more, right? I love that part. All right, let's look at all the fun stuff in the comments. Look at what does he say? Uh, check the vid's description for tons of good stuff. Ah, right, here's the good stuff, guys. That's pretty hype, dude. Very good. Whoever made this, don't feel discouraged. The dislikes were coming. Were the dislikes were coming regardless? <laughs> Why does the face cam look like it's blurry as hell? In the playthrough, it looked very crisp and perfectly fine. Oh, crisp! Very crisp. Less memes and more highlights. Thanks for le actually leaving legit criticism. It's appreciated. Oh, boy. You're crying over people being negative so about a video. If you're not a sub. <clears throat> oh, uh, oh, shout out. Sky Sands says, good luck. Good job, Alex. This montage is way better than mine. Shout out to Sky Sands. As far as constructive... Cr I'm not reading all this. I don't care that much. But as you can see... Oh, my God. These memes are horrible. I agree. The memes were very lacking. Um, extremely lacking in the memes. So, there we go. That was the second submission. Now, guys, remember I told you there was nine total KO Gaming Community Submission Program submissions? Well, we had our first on February 4th. Uh, February 6th. We had our second on February 10th. And now we're going to get our third on February 12th. February 12th. 12th, he busted out three in one week. No wonder they dried up. You have to, <laughs> we have to schedule these out, dude. Make it a big deal. All right, once a month, we're going to get our fan submission. Or once every two weeks, you want to get crazy. He did three in one week. <laughs> So, here's that other one, the one we were promised. This is the, uh, Prepare to Die Dark Souls. What is going on, everyone? Phil here, and welcome back to KO Gaming for yet another viewer-created montage. Oh, in terms of views, by the way, um, they all got between 7,000 and 8,000 views. So, I mean, on par with some of the stuff on the channel, not at its peak, but at this point in KO Gaming, they were doing as good as everything else, give or take submission to the KO Gaming Community Creations Program. Today's montage comes from user Happy Puke, who enjoyed my Dark Souls redemption. <laughs> Shoutouts to Happy Puke. All right, let's check out Happy Puke. Let's see how good they are first before we check out Happy Puke. Redemption run so much that he decided to make a montage a little bit different than the other one that you saw Ooh. here for that same game playthrough. This one in particular highlights the reactions to when I died throughout this game playthrough. Oh, now, in God. reality, there are lots of people out there that either love me or absolutely hate me for the way that I react when things go wrong while playing video games, whether yeah, it's that's rage me. or a joke or a laugh or frustration, <laughs> how I this bounce back from dying and or how I bounce back or a laugh or frustration how I bounce back from dying and or failing in a video game oh is yeah that's what you're known for is bouncing back the major reasons why I love to watch Philip bounce back from when he dies successful on YouTube for more than eight years so it's pretty cool that happy puke made a montage a little bit different from the last one for Dark Souls emphasizing those particular reactions now hey, I want warrior. to warn you because this montage does start abruptly so get ready for the prepare to die Dark Souls the Redemption Run Death Reactions Montage. Enjoy. And dead. I why, can't do damage. I, why do you have to say that? Why do we have to? <laughs> I really think that um, the, the 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 feedback from the last one really got to him. I think so. He kind of was trying to kind of soften that a little bit by letting you know some of the bad points, maybe. Because here you said, like, just so you know, this one focuses on the deaths and my reactions to that. A lot of people have been saying how they love Mike bouncing back. So I want to show you that. And this one starts quickly, so don't bitch about no intro is kind of what he's saying, I think. But this is the same exact playthrough. Yes, big guy. We are doing the same exact playthrough. Double dipping, as they say. So you're supposed to die to him. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, shit. Copes I feel says, did you see the duty video? 
Okay, has that came out? Has the promised proof from Jay been released? If it has, that's something worth talking about. If it has not, I will not. It has been released, they are saying. All right, we can't get too derailed here. We're trying to get some kind of cohesive thing going here with KO Gaming Cox emissions. But let me just freeze frame it. Let me just see. It. I'll just, I'm not going to, uh, I'm just going to bring up the screenshots for you. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. 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 Let's give him credit here. Shout outs to Duty for this one. Here's the link to Duty's video. Please go watch it. Uh, we're obviously going to have to cover this on this, on, uh, that being said, again. But oh, because he didn't want to bring any drama to his den. Here's the screenshots. His Let's make it bigger for you. Uh, where can I do this? Let's do it this way. I'll just read it. Who cares? So, uh, hey, hey, no idea if it's legit or not, but I'm being told you'd like to do a chill stream. I'm down. I have nothing to gain, but I'd love to have a convo with you about games or life or whatever. We should purposefully never mention Rich at all just to piss him off. Just to piss him off. If you're interested, let me know and let's figure it out. If not, just say you have no idea what I'm talking about. LOL. <laughs> Interesting. It, so his point was to not piss. So he's definitely doesn't want to miss off Rich. That's definitely a goal of his. Remember, Jay claimed that he was messaged hours ago yesterday. Jay said that. So I hope, I hope, Jay, we get that as well, right? You're not going to be telling any untruths, I hope, right? You said it was happening yesterday. Uh, and also, uh, just if if just so the ego doesn't take a hit, he says, uh, if uh, you're not interested, just say you have no idea what I'm talking about. LOL. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Is that it, or is there more screenshots? Oh, there it's now. It's uh... all right. Next up, we have this one, which says. That's totally of cool. I did. How could we do it? I admit I'm not really informed of being a guest or having one on a show. The side scrollers use some chat client I never heard of, and I haven't used since. When do you stream and how do you propose we do it? Or should, oh god, more misspellings, gin brain. Or should it be done totally offline, recorded and uploaded from both of our perspectives? All right. So th does that sounds like Philip to me? I will say that. Uh, big ups, Cope side Phil. Says, Phil said he didn't want to make it about Rich. Yeah, that's just because that's how he thinks he's got to get to Rich the most by doing that. That was definitely his goal, it sounds like to me. Uh, that does sound like Philip. It is 4.42 a.m. as well. Uh, that could be when the person read it, so don't... I'm not sure exactly if that's when Philip sent it. I would believe that, though. Uh, is that the only screenshots we have? Tuesday, January 6th. Wow, nothing? You have nothing to say about the guy who you championed lying and treating me like dirt? Okay, let, let's listen to Duty on this one. I don't know what he's talking about here. Uh, okay, I got, I got two more screenshots that I want to show real quick. Okay, as we heard Phil say, Phil's not, the, Phil's no longer involved in the drama. He's done. That video was supposed anymore he wasn't going to be involved anymore in this bullshit right uh -huh. well our boy phil managed the last six days that video was posted eight days ago and on the 26th he decided to to email apparently one two cent which is the admin of jay jay's admin and decided to have a conversation with him and lo and behold this is the email this is the drama email that phil decided to send <laughs> One two cent. Now I'm not sure if he sent it to, just to one two cent or if he sent it to one two cent and Jay like CC him. I'm not wow, nothing. You have nothing to say about the guy who you champion lying and treating me like dirt. Okay, so he's expecting a response from one's two cent, which was the person that sent Phil twenty bucks to say, hey, he wants to do a show with you. So he wants a he wants an apology from one, one's two cents. Here is what he's looking for. Clearly, um, so. I would like to know what happened before this, right? Um, because this doesn't kind of make sense without what happened first, right? This could be... It sounds like Philip said, hey, one's two cents. What happened, dude? Your dude's being a bitch and I'll talk to me on Twitter. What's going on with that? And then one's two cents didn't respond. And then that would lead to someone saying, wow, nothing? You have nothing to say, right? You don't say you have nothing to say. 
try to make it clear here. If I send uh, Fort Worth raised an email and you, Fort Worth raised responded to me, I could not respond with, you have nothing to say, right? I couldn't do that because you did say something. So I'm guessing that Philip said something before this. One's two cents did not respond. And then Philip Brunel now sends this again because he's angry that he's not getting response. With not paying attention to, to Piggy is the biggest crime you could do against his ego. So that's why it's 416. I know time zones and stuff, but there's still there's still some things to this. Uh, there's more screenshots, though. Let's see what we have here. Basically said that he called them out for wanting to talk about Rich and making this about Rich and pissing Rich off, right? And then he responded with this little message right here. Uh, this was last night. Uh, yeah, this was last night. Phil, Phil responded to apparently, I'm guessing it was Jay... Uh, Jay and his uh, his. Oh, admin. it's so annoying! Like, why can't we just have the whole thing? What are these fucking screenshots? Or are they hiding what happened before that? So just l making you not know what's going on. It's so fucking annoying. Okay, and that's not Duty's fault. I'm talking about the people that are sharing this shit. You know, like here. Oh, here I'll show you this part. Oh, uh, here we go. I guess he didn't show you the entire DMs. Where he agreed with me that talking about Rich would be drama, and that's not what he wanted at all. Which is the point of what I was saying here. I literally say I have nothing to gain from this in the initial message. Nice trying to try to somehow spin this on me. It was Jay who made public tweets that were 100% lies about an interview that was never discussed or ever going to happen. Your buddy there is a right old snake. See? Okay. Okay, so that sounds like this happened. And then Philip could respond with this. Right? You know what I mean? So send this. No response. Then we send email like this. I know it's tough to see, but... That's what it sounds like to me, but there's something else there. Regardless of what happened after the fact, Phil, you started this whole conversation in the wrong way. You DM'd him with the purpose of doing a, a sit-down, an interview, a conversation, what have you, right? Well, I'm not so interested. I mean, we already know that part about it. I'm more interested in the what Jay said, which was... Uh, let me get exactly up what Jay said. I mean, it's already, Phil said himself he reached out to Jay. That was from Phil's own admission. But what I'm more interested in is Phil, uh, as I talked on stream yesterday, I know if you watched yesterday, it's the same fucking shit, so sorry. And we're getting derailed massively. But when stuff like this breaks, you got to do it, right? So Jay here said, DSP has to be the second dumbest person I've had to deal with online. He emailed us yesterday and is trying to cause drama now. When will it end? Ha ha. So show me that. What happened yesterday? And the thing that makes me think that Jay was not, you know, not exactly <laughs> being truthful there is let's clear this mess up. This is the line in the first message from DSP that made it obvious that he only wanted to do an interview as a way to get it rich. Again, he reached out to me and said this. I didn't message him first. Tomorrow you'll get the full story. Well, you said he emailed you yesterday, so that's kind of the thing we want to see. Not the first message, right? But, anyways, Jay said he's going to explain it today, so drama feeding drama. That's how we do it, right? That's how we make the big bucks. So, anyways, let's move on positively. A little taste. Maybe we'll get more before that being said, and we'll cover on that being said, but who knows? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Shit! Oh! I didn't know he could do that. <laughs> oh my god! Back to this. <laughs> All right, let's go to the ending. I'm dying already. Shield worked though. He saw that. The email screenshot was dated March 26, which was yesterday. Okay, so this this email. Oh, you're right. So this email. Ah, okay. Thank you, scientist. Okay, so here we go. Last talk on this because we don't get much. That's it. We didn't get much of this. So this is the mail that was sent, as Jay said, sent to who? Sent to who? Oh. On. He emailed us yesterday. Ah, okay. So that means one's two. That means one's two cents. Absolutely. One's two cents. Because he said emailed us, right? He emailed us. So he sent one's two cents. Okay. Okay. Timeline is, is, is confirmed in my mind, okay? 
So, Philip, I know if you watched the whole D Duty video, it probably would have been explained. So, apologies for that, Duty. Please go click on Duty's video if you want to see the whole thick context. Just not trying to watch 23 minute video right now. But this is the first re reach out. Then, this, uh, obviously, Jay said some shit back. And we got this reach out. That's totally cool. This is Philip again responding to that very amicably, right? Very amicably. Then, Jay says some shit on Twitter, says, fuck this, fuck this. We get to this. Um, there's some shit that happened before that. Obviously, we'll never see that. But he said, I guess he didn't show you the entire DMs. Uh, one's two cents said something. Philip responded with this. Then, one's two cents never responded for a week or whatever it was. And Philip's final word came yesterday with this. All right? That is the timeline. That is the Zelda more set in stone than the Zelda timeline is the Philip versus Jay and one's two cents timeline now. So that's it. I'm done with it. Done with it. Not going to mention it anymore. I'm so done with it. <laughs> All right. We're done. Uh, I don't think Philip's going to respond to that one. Obviously I think he would be freaked out if he has, there's a chance of uh, someone, he knows someone has the, the intentions of sharing DMs. I think that would be scary for him personally and i think he would not mention it he'll just try to drop it here that's my guess but who knows you never know yeah. the shield worked it reduced the damage massively oh my god this is ridiculous nothing i can do <laughs> comboed perfectly look at this this is fair come on This is ridiculous. All right, well, that's going to do it for this user-created montage, everyone. If you enjoyed it, you may want to take a look at Happy Puke's personal YouTube channel, which incidentally oh, yeah, has to absolutely that out. nothing to do with Dark Souls or gaming in general. I've put a link up now on the screen. Also in the description of the video, I put a link in case you just want to click quickly. I also put a link to both his YouTube channel, Twitter, and his personal one in case you want to message him for any reason in regards to the yeah, montage. Yeah, I want to message him for reasons. Now, I think at this point, we've beaten my Dark Souls gameplay to death. I want to say thank you to the two hey, people. Hey, shout out to gameplay trahouse <laughs> remember he's very busy he can't do these himself right. remember Thank you for re-upping your membership he I has no time that. play trows hell yeah did submit montages but at this point if you're thinking about submitting another ko gaming community creation play please let's not do another dark souls run simply because we've now seen multiple ones please send it. more dark if souls if you are interested however in submitting something else please email me at darksidephil at hotmail.com or pm me on my forums on thekingofhate.com so we can talk a little bit about it and get an idea hashed out before you put too much work into it that Definitely. way we don't have too many people working on the same games okay thanks a lot for watching this video everyone and if you enjoyed it consider giving it a like here on youtube and you also might want to consider sub uh, subbing to ko gaming because there's gonna <laughs> be you want to redo that that line or just leave it in here on youtube and you also might want to consider sub uh, subbing to ko gaming <laughs> because there's gonna be you want to leave that one in or <laughs> here on youtube <laughs> yeah leave it in that's fine that's fine that's a fine take and you also might want to consider sub uh, subbing to ko gaming <laughs> because there's going to be future uh, viewer created montages <laughs> right here on the channel one take phil channel as well as highly edited game reviews first impressions videos countdowns and the like that you're really going to enjoy also please check out and this is okay small point that's what we're here for Look at this description. He rewrote this. Check the vid description for lots of additional great stuff. Like he, I think he does stuff in the least efficient way possible. You know what I mean? Like I'm sure he rewrites this every time. When you could just, you know, keep the project, that video project. So you just put it back in there like everyone else. You know what I mean? Like I'm, it seems like he, like what are these? It's, he, he loves doing work for the sake of work when you don't have to, you know? Just to spend as much time in that office as possible to say he's a big busy boy. Description of the video for things like a Loot Crate discount code that you can use to save 10% on any Loot Crate subscription, as well as a link to my Patreon where you can pledge and help me out to keep this going in the long term. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time right here on KO Gaming. All right, so we have, we have just seen 33% of the entire... KO Gaming Community Submission, KO Gaming Community Creation Submission Program History right there already.
<laughs> Hope it was meaningful for you. Let's move into the remaining 66%. So, now we get into a little bit of the... Thanks for the membership. Big up, Swang Bing! Wong Bing the legend! You are a legend forever, sir. There's even a card for you. Have you seen it? I'll show you again, just in case you haven't. Wong Bing, the hold of hustler, has not been pulled yet. Has not been pulled yet. Will this be it? Oh, come on. Everyone's going to say it's rigged if it happens, but please be Wong Bing. Please! Wolverine, not bad. Not bad. That could have been legendary, but not bad. That wasn't bad. <laughs> five. Right. Thank you for re upping a your A five bronze star that. Wolverine is a great, a great get, though. So you can put that on eBay, at least get a few bucks. Big up's Cope Side Phil says he's a mastermind at wasting time and doing nothing. Correct. Correct, Amundo. <laughs> All right. Let's talk a little bit about the feedback we're receiving, guys. Sound good? And or previous playthroughs. So far, we've got two videos up there. Montage of my Resident Evil 7 playthrough. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that coming up, but I just wanted to kind of do like a little recap here. Yep, recap, of course. Everything I've been up to for the first 10 days of the month. It's been a pretty, pretty crazy, busy month so far. Oh, God. And being that later on, you know, next week we've got For Honor, um, the possibility of Sniper Elite 4, although quite honestly, it's looking like it may be the game I so skipped this, this month straight. because You're I got so play much games? else going on. Um, you know, we got Horizon Zero Dawn coming up later this month. I'll be reviewing all these new games and stuff that I'm playing. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in the pipeline, all right? Oh. So, hopefully you've been enjoying everything that I've been doing this month. By the way, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who's been watching the videos, who's also been watching the live streams. In particular, this week, the live streams have been doing... I don't care. Here we go. And I was stuck playing it for an extended period of time that I didn't really want to play. But it is what it is. That's how Yakuza 0 is, right? Oof. So tomorrow, more Yakuza, Yakuza for you, for those who've been liking the ongoing playthrough. All right. And if everything goes according to plan, which I'm hoping it will, um, tomorrow night, I'm going to release the next KO Gaming Community Submissions Montage. This one, we're returning back to Dark Souls. Oh shit, bad of order. Pretend we didn't play the Dark Souls one yet. And this montage is going to be more focused on uh, my reactions to the deaths. So, for example, <laughs> the first montage I did of Dark Souls was kind of a mix. It showed every death, but it kind of jumped between them quickly. And then it was uh, some other moments and things in there as well. <laughs> this is basically going to focus on my deaths and Whoa. how I reacted to them. And this montage in particular deaths. is pretty good. It's got it's a reaction to his deaths. <laughs> some funny things kind of emphasized. I like the way that it was edited. There's some funny stuff in there during particularly funny repeated deaths oh that's um, really high, i really dude. like this montage and the reason i saved it all week is because i didn't want to release a dark souls montage earlier this week and then immediately have another one you know what? i figured you... save it for variety sake okay save it for seven days variety <laughs> sake you could have wasted a month on that that's amazing he's already released three so another new ko gaming uh Montage should be released hopefully tomorrow night. If the worst case scenario, it'll be out Sunday night, but probably tomorrow night if, if everything goes according to the plan. I have the time to edit it and everything. Okay. Okay. Oh. All right. In the plan, I have the time to edit it and everything. Okay. Stand by for launch. We are launching in three, two, one. Okay. Oh, three, two, one. Ignition. Houston, we have gout. <laughs> All right, and then Sunday. All right. Yes, more Neo. All right. <laughs> I like at the end he says, "All right." <laughs> All right, just one more time, please, 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 one more time. <laughs> yeah, just watch, just watch the videos. You get them. So not, not the, for watching live, you get uh, crystals, a po uh, points here. Okay. Cat coins. Okay, wait. Hold on, hold on. The plan, I have the time the to edit it and everything. Today. I appreciate okay. it. Okay. We have liftoff in three, two, one. Ignition. That wasn't a very good one. It kind of sucked. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we have to, we have gout off. <laughs> All right, and then Sunday, <laughs> yes, more Neo on stream. Sunday night will be the weekend preview, and Sunday night I actually have to do a lot of patron-related stuff. 
<laughs> Ground control to major snorts. And also some personal stuff. I think something I'm going to pay all the bills for the month and everything, you know. The stuff yeah. that I talk about behind the scenes, or I do behind the scenes. I don't all right, anyways, about. I'm done with this. Next, February 12th. So now we have released all of the ones we watched. Here's our next one. They're fun and people are coming out to watch the streams and everything and that's good. Uh, you know, KO Gaming has a new version. KO Gaming, yeah, big ups, dude. Talk about, so that's good. Oh, new gaming has a new variety of content that I'm about to talk about, oh, so that's great. good. Um, you know, everything business-wise, I've been fine. It's actually some things going on behind the scenes here. Oh. It has nothing to do with business, more oh, personal no. stuff. As you know, I've been doing other stuff like trying to sell my condo in Connecticut, which I'm in the middle of this. February 2017, so so just for timeline, Leanna's still there, but she would move out within the next five months. Big and brutal battle around. Um, other stuff like trying to sell my condo in Connecticut, which I'm in the middle of this big embroiled battle around. Big embroiled battle. Could anyone tell me what? Im I don't believe embroiled. 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 Embroil. Embroil. Involve someone deeply in argument. Oh, okay, that's it's right. It's right. I'm wrong. Big embroiled battle. Actually, some things going on behind the scenes here it has nothing to do with business, more personal stuff. As you know, I've been doing other stuff like trying to sell my condo in Connecticut, which I'm in the middle of this big and brutal battle around. Big and brutal um, battle. And doing all big and brutal battle. This other, and there's other personal stuff that goes on behind the scenes that I don't talk about. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, just, just let us know. Sadly, it's been just a lot of stress on me. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, last week, or last week, last night, I didn't get a lot of sleep at all. I oh, usually no. try to get around six to eight hours sleep at a minimum you know you're supposed to re-sleep around eight hours every night and i barely got like three hours sleep last night i could not fall asleep i was all stressed out and everything was going on with me. <laughs> so <laughs> any ideas why that might be i'll tell you why <laughs> any ideas as to why philip might not be uh sleeping so much guys We're gonna get demonetized, but I don't care. You know why Phil's not getting so much sleep, guys? I am a real American. All right, that's it. That's that. That's all I can do for YouTube will shut me down. So today I said, you know, I was supposed to straight stream Neo today for the fifth straight day, but I decided it was against my best interest to do that. That I was just going to rest up all day, which is what I did. I basically rested for an extra three or so hours and didn't really leave bed until late afternoon. Okay, so yeah, the good question was champions started then. So champions, let's see the champions, uh, the champions login streak right now. Uh, it'll be champions. I can search by down from the rafters, I believe. Uh, rafters. Usually it comes up. Uh, no, I have the link somewhere else. Hang on, I got it. I have it saved over on the other browser here. So the login streak is at 2,242 days. So let's see, what date was the date? 2,248 2, days ago. Okay, that was January 31st, 2018. So the streak has not been started yet. We are one year away from the streak. Starting. And I think it did wonders. Not only do I feel a little bit more rejuvenated. Oh, and we're still embroiled in <laughs> Supercard. Many other games we're embroiled in. So if it, even if it's not s champions, we're still playing mobile games. Trust me. Less stressed out, but also I got some work done today. I got to edit the very first official... Uh, official and what i mean by that is i approved it this is how you don't play video for ko gaming which i know some people right now are saying what yeah here we go so this is this site now they're okay to be called this is how you don't play so, all right copes i feel says pick your poison gambling drinking or twittering oh that def no twiddling but twittering yes uh i'll talk about that in a moment okay but uh <laughs> oh, hey i saw that trying to get sneaky look at this right now are saying what uh i'll talk about that in a moment okay but, uh, Come on, I saw one-sided snip. I got a lot of work done, and because of that, tomorrow I'm going to be able to release a bunch of stuff that I wasn't going to be able to release. So this is a good thing, and I'll explain how this is all going to pan out in a moment. Oh, okay. please. Oh, so this past... We are on fire! This is a good thing, and I'll explain how this is all going to pan out in a moment. Okay. Three, two, one. We have launch. 
Houston, we have gout. So this past <laughs> week, my main focus was Neo and getting as far as I could in Neo. <laughs> That, that that I don't know how long it's gonna stay funny, but it definitely is funny now. Too quick, too quick. L's uh, he was busting off them hoogies till five a.m. Uh huh. <laughs> you know, and I got about a third through the game from what people are saying. I did play Yakuza Zero a couple of times. This is around four or so more hours of Yakuza Zero that's continued. And the big <laughs> big ups, Mister Extravagant says, just donating for the algorithm. Big ups. I'm liking your donation message for the algorithm as well. Thank you, sir. Major thing that happened this week on KO Gaming, I released three videos that were fan-made montages. The first was a <laughs> montage of the best moments of my Dark Souls Redemption Run playthrough. Yeah, we saw the that one. The next was a mini montage of my Resident Evil 7 we playthrough. We saw that one too. And then the one that I just released last night yeah, we saw was that. the Prepare to Die Dark Souls Redemption Run uh, Death Reactions montage. And what yeah. I mean by that is they basically took my reactions to my deaths in the game and did some funny editing and did some funny things to make it a lot better than just say a plain montage of just showing them. This would emphasize the a lot more and made things a little bit more funny and entertaining. Okay. So three videos on KO Gaming this week paired Ooh, up three pro with so oh, much other stuff. I had my first reactions to Neo video. I had initial impressions on uh, the Injustice 2 beta earlier in the week. So KO Gaming has been super busy this week. Now, yeah, people there weren't ready for it. <clears throat> What? A lot of they the people over there were kind it? of surprised, taking it back that I was uploading so much to the and channel. Because they, typically, they weren't channel, ready Derek for it? Otherwise. You're a fucking loser. <laughs> Oh, they were not ready for it. They were freaking out, dude. They were flipping out. They couldn't control themselves. Uh-oh, we started lying. No! <laughs> not like this, no! No! Gotta stop the lying quickly! Quickly, <laughs> I have one or two videos Big up, Zane Robinson says the snorts are coming in thick and fast. Oh, yes, we're on some kind of streak to, to this month. If that, and this week we had five up, new videos Sade. for the channel. Pretty crazy amount of content, right? Yeah. Um, Why don't you slow it down? So, you know, admittedly, some people are like taking it back and they're not checking every day for new videos, and I get that. It's never had a formula where there's been that much content over there. Um, this week coming up, it looks like there may be about one to two more videos for KO Gaming, and then later in the month there's going to be uh, a lot more. It's okay. coping about low so views. So I'll talk a little bit about that. But anyway. He's trying to explain about the, why there's not so many views on that. People were not ready for this. That's why, they're, they, that's why they didn't get so many views, guys. KO Gaming kind of exploded this week with all the new stuff over there, and I think that it's been, you know, in general, for those who were there to watch the videos and enjoy them, it's been well received. Sadly, there is a group of people that go over there just to shit on everything. Oh, yeah, that's And of that's course, me. those people are in full force. Oh, my God, this video still didn't make it other than to his channel. Oh, we gotta thumbs them down and all that fucking stupid shit that little <laughs> kids do. Um, it is what it is. I really don't care. Thumbs down don't negatively affect anything. Oh, you clearly care. <laughs> You're showing us how much you care right now. And thanks for that, uh... Kids uploaded them to his channel. Oh, we gotta thumbs them down. And all that ah. fucking stupid shit that little kids do. Oh. Um, it is Please, I will continue to do with stuff little kids do. It is. I really don't care. Thumbs down don't negatively affect anything. Okay, um, then you shouldn't worry about it then, huh? Um, but anyway, in general, people seem to like this submission. Uh, Steve of the Dead, you, do you operate a household? No. So stop asking questions. <laughs> How do you sustain that content creation and upload rate, Phil? Uh, that's a question for tomorrow. Uh, we'll get that in the rainy day fund, all right? Get the fuck out of here. The Missions questions. program that I'm doing for <laughs> KO Gaming. So, awesome. Two thumbs up for that so far. <laughs> Missions program that I'm doing for KO huh? Gaming. Huh? So, awesome. Two thumbs up. Have you ever in your life done two thumbs up like that? In your life? Done two thumbs up like that? I have never seen this in my entire life. The locked up two thumbs up. <laughs> All right, boys, prepare the bots. We're downloading his videos for profits. What's <laughs> up for that so far? <laughs> All right. So, what can you expect this coming week? Because we yeah. got so much new stuff coming up. Yeah, we got to watch it. We're going to watch it today. So, please hope it's good stuff for everybody watching right now. Allow me to run through it all for yeah, you. Yeah, please, please. Tonight, immediately following my filming and uploading of the weekend preview, I'm doing patron stuff. Okay. I've got uh, uh, all these responses I got over the past week from January patrons. I need to sort those out, send some to my webmaster to get forum upgrades and such. There's some private Q&A videos. Webmaster. And webmaster. <laughs> Is that you, Chris Furtado? To be made. I need to sort that out so I can have time in the next couple. <laughs> Slide in the seat, 
<laughs> That's it, like your mama. I talk a lot of shit, but I fuck with the drama. Copeside Phil says he doesn't care, and to prove it, here's a 20 minute video to show how much he doesn't care about it. <laughs> yep. Let's now let's hear this Phil with more. We used to film those and release them. So I got all that work to do tonight. I gotta figure out patron stuff. <clears throat> Tomorrow, Monday, I am going to be streaming Neo again because I missed out on it today. I definitely have to stream it again tomorrow. Okay. All right. So it's going to be a session of Neo on stream. Tomorrow night, I'm going to do many things. First of all, this is how you don't play video Here we go. 4KO game. Yes. All right. This is a video that very much is in the spirit of all those other. This is how you don't play videos you've seen on the internet. It's so remember, he said there, this is key. It's very much in the spirit. All right. Very much in the spirit. All right, this is a video that very much is in the spirit of all those other. This is how right, you don't we'll, play we'll videos check on, that. on the internet. We'll check it's on that. It's got some kind of almost insulting things in there. Things I equate a good this is how you don't play video to a roast, a comedy roast. When a comedian or a celebrity. I equate a good this is how you don't play video to a roast. A okay, comedy sure. roast. When a sure, comedian sure, 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 sure. roasted. For, 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 sure, 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 okay. And people take those nuggets of truth about that person and they, of course, <laughs> over-extrapolate on them and completely uh, exaggerate them. Is this the birth of nuggets of truth? This is 2017. That's a pretty early nuggets of truth, isn't it? I'm gonna check that. Or let's let him let him cook as I look and blow them up into negative things. But it's for the sake of a laugh, and everyone oh. takes it in good humor. Oh, That's okay. How uh, so similar. Just a quick metaphor. If I said pork fried rice when I saw an Asian, kind of similar. It, everyone takes it in good fun. Or you could say another example is when someone says you a Chinese uh, proverb. You might say, "Oh, who gives a shit what they say in China?" Chicky Chang Wang, who gives a shit what they say in China? That's something like that. Things that everyone takes in good humor, you know. Or if you say thumbs down, nit motherfucker, everything takes that good humor. Okay. I got it, I got it, I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. How good this is how you don't play video should watch when you watch it. That's how it should feel. Okay. Not it's completely just slamming someone in the fucking asshole repeatedly with insults and nastiness and insulting their family members and their personal life and shit like that. That's ridiculous. And okay, so, <laughs> so, oh God, uh-oh, he's getting pissed off now. Second appearance. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy fuck, he's waking up. That pissed him off. Don't talk about this how you don't plays like that. Do not. And yeah, I heard the slamming assholes too. I want to hear that again, actually. Nah, it's completely just slamming someone in the fucking asshole. Fight for the rights of everyone. Watch it, that's how it should feel. Nah, it's completely just slamming someone in the fucking asshole. I am a How good this is how you don't play video should watch when you watch it. God That's how it should it. feel. Nah, it's completely just slamming someone in the fucking asshole I repeatedly with insults and nastiness and insulting their family members and their personal life and shit like that. That's ridiculous. And sadly, that's what a lot of these idiots turned the whole thing into when at its core, that's not what it began as to begin with. All right. Okay, hold on. A lot to take in here. He's saying that this is how you don't plays when they were... First of all, he knows about the philosophy of this is how you don't plays now. That's pretty cool. So he's he's learned enough about this is how you don't plays to know about the philosophy of them and what's their underlying uh, motivations. Pretty cool. Uh, so let's hear exactly what it is again. We don't need to hear the slam asshole again, but I want to hear this part. The whole thing into when yeah, like that. That's ridiculous. And sadly, that's what a lot of these idiots turned the whole thing into. Oh. When at its core, that's not what it began as to begin with. All right. Okay. So I'd like to ask Evil AJ, what... <laughs> it, the, slamming assholes wasn't what you had in mind, Evil AJ, when you made the first this say you don't play? Just wondering. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. Quarter demon again. I could push it. I won't. But holy shit. So we have someone who made a video, or this is how you don't play a video, and they want it to be featured on KO Gaming, and yes. I'm going to put that up tomorrow night. I actually finished editing it today, but I just put a video up there. I didn't want to over- I finished editing it today. Need I remind everyone here what editing means? Recording 30 seconds of audio in the beginning of the video, 30 seconds of audio at the end of the video, and dropping them into the timeline that someone else already made thanks for editing that brother that must take you hours tomorrow night yes mr extravagant now you're figuring it out evil aj made this so you don't play to laugh with phil not at phil that's it you got it 
<laughs> I actually finished editing it today, but I. It's just, not about slamming assholes. Just put a video up there. I didn't want to overload it. So tomorrow night on KO Gaming, if you want to see this, you 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 probably you're gonna be up there. I didn't want to overload it. So tomorrow. I didn't want to overload it. You put three last week, brother. The first nugget of truth, by the way, was 2013. If you can believe it. 2013 was the first nugget of truth. Tomorrow night on KO Gaming, if you want to see this, you, you, you probably you are going to be like, wow, I can't believe that Phil put a video up like that. But the thing <laughs> is, and this is the thing I've said over the years, if, it, if this is how you don't play was fair, okay, uh, uh, or uh, was spun to be something like a roast and presented as such, I would have never had an issue with it. <laughs> oh, God. Just stay up. Just stay up, Adam. How was it... <laughs> If it was presented like a roast. <laughs> play was fair, okay, or was spun to be something like a roast and presented as such. I would yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, Steve. I thought that's how it started. You said that's how it started. Mei Ling showing up on time, too. You said that's how it started. And now it's devolved into something else. So you should be praising Evil AJ, Sir J, as some might call him. Because he started it the way you wanted it. Oh, okay. And <laughs> okay, or was spun to be something like a roast and okay. presented as such, I would have never had an issue with it. I would have never had an issue with it if it wasn't spun to be whatever the fuck he said. Remember, Evil AJ's first one is gameplay and comments. That's the beginning and end. And sometimes a little zooming in. That was the beginning and end of this how you don't play. Of what of this how you don't play was. Comments and gameplay. But now that was not he wants it to be a roast or something. The problem is people became more and more extreme and slanderous and just full of shit with these videos to, at the, to make basically to get popularity for themselves and to basically get a rise out of people and have their video go viral so they would get YouTube attention. So they make good videos so they will get viral attention. Huh, huh, huh. That sounds like a crazy idea. Who does that? Makes good videos? And to basically get a rise out of people and have their video go viral so they would get YouTube attention. Oh, so you get a rise out of viewers to get YouTube attention. Huh, seems like something that every single fucking YouTuber does ever, but all right. That's something that these dirty this how you don't players do. Got it. Rather than worrying about, oh, maybe if I actually blatantly lie or I take the absolute most disgusting, toxic, nasty comments possible from the video and I put it in, in or from the, the playthrough and put it in my video, that might actually hurt Phil in his business. Because oh my God. Evil AJ is hurting the business by choosing hurtful comments. You've, you've heard of hateful slurs? Well... Have you heard of the second album? Hateful comments. Because the bottom line in, in er, oh. from the, the playthrough and put it in my video, that might actually hurt Phil in his business. Uh -huh. Because the bottom line is, sadly, the people who usually make these videos don't think like that. They don't care about who they ah. hurt to get a laugh. They only care about their own personal popularity. And that's the issue I've always had with people who make these videos who don't actually care about me or my business. Because Why do they give a shit about your business or you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh God! Please, they don't respect my family Be when they're when they're making a funny video about the stupid shit I did in a video game. Please think about my grandpa and grandmother. Please, won't you think about my family members? What? Uh, we're just showing funny stuff on the internet. That's pretty much the beginning and end of it, sir. But all right. Because if you keep making them in this vein, that people are going to have these slanderous thoughts about me. Slanderous thought. <laughs> That Phil is this and Phil is that. All these nasty <laughs> things. They're never going to come watch my streams. They're never going to come watch my videos. And yes. I'm going to go out of business, which means there would not be any more of these fucking that videos. Would be, that would be fine. We have enough content to work with, actually. It's counterproductive to do what they do, but they're not smart. It's productive, actually. It's very productive. Extremely productive. We'll have to figure that out. No, no, no. So anyway, We're this thinking... video I think you're going to see is very interesting. Okay. It's, in my opinion, hilarious. I like it. I've approved it. I've given it my stamp of approval, and it's going to go live on KO. <laughs> Give it my stamp of approval. KO Gaming tomorrow night. All right? All right. Well, well, we got to watch the first ever This Say You Don't Play, right? Uh... Oh, so come on. Don't do this. Giving it my. There's kids children watching. It's gonna go live on KO Gaming tomorrow night. All right. 
So, in addition, while that's uploading, I'm also working on new channel trailers. I have to do a channel trailer for all three of my channels. I've already did the voiceovers for it. I just need to do a little bit of video and text and slap it together. So I'm going to have new channel trailers starting tomorrow night. Oh, that'll by be which hype. KO Gaming, DSP Gaming, and the King of Hate Vlogs will now fully explain what they are. Updated. Because remember, last year, I had differing you know, information. I was saying, oh, I'm live streaming here on DSP Gaming and stuff like that. And I changed the channel trailers to now be more effective for what they actually are. Are, okay, so that's cool, and Is it? you know those are going to go live tomorrow night. Also, um, if I have time, I think I'm, I should have time tomorrow night. The new Patreon goal, I'm going to formally announce it. All right, for this month, it's already the twelfth. We're halfway through the month. I haven't even announced the Patreon goal for this month yet. That's bad. It's a good one. I'll, I'll yeah, spoil you right now. I'll give you a spoiler on what it is. I don't have the official fall behind on that. ready for you yet, or a picture or anything. I'll have that hopefully tomorrow night. A marathon, cool, that'll be fun, a marathon <laughs> of the world cup. Been ready for you yet or a picture or anything, I'll have that hopefully tomorrow night. A marathon, cool, cool. that'll be fun, a marathon <laughs> of... A marathon, cool, that'll be fun. <laughs> oh god. A marathon, cool, that'll be fun. The worst games ever. Meaning, it's going to be patrons who are going to be voting on what games are terrible and you'd like to see me play in a marathon setting. Now, of course, there'll be restrictions. I can't play games that I can't get my hands on, so if there's not an easy way to emulate an old right, game or whatever... One. That was a great one, though. Holy shit. <clears throat> Alright. So, of course, we have to show you the Philip... Uh, Philip approved... This is how you don't play, all right? So, um, now, here is where it gets a little uh, interesting, let's say, in the story, in the timeline, okay? So I do want to play it. Um, I, I'll play it for you a little bit here. So this was, take it, this was taken down uh, from the channel for reasons we're going to see, okay? I'm going to show you what he talks about here. Uh, but so it's not online. Uh, I did find, however, this video that was saved by Snort Burnell, and it, the title of it is KO Gaming DSPs. This say you don't play video one hits of the week. All right. So I don't know if that's actually it. All right. Uh, but I think I think it has a good chance of being it because as you noticed, Phil didn't say what game it was when he said this say you don't play. And I believe it's because it kind of was a, a mixture of a lot of different games. Again, this is just my thoughts. And maybe when we keep watching, we'll figure out the truth. But, um... Oh, no, this is too... Never mind. I'm fucking dented. This is too early. This is January 23rd, 2016. It can't be this. All right. We're, we're out then. Then I'm totally wrong. So we don't, ha we don't have it. Uh, shout outs to... Short Burnell, but this is too early in the timeline. This is January 23rd, 2016. That won't cut it. So we don't have that video right now. If anyone has it, feel free to message me on d d Twitter, Discord, whatever, because I'll take it. Uh, but it's not there. So we do have those. So what does everyone think of the first ever officially approved this say you don't play video? Uh, Phil, while it was not bad, it was certainly not great. Uh, it came off as you creating this site you don't play, which could be bad. No more of these. But I didn't create it, nor do I give any bearing what was in it. I literally got his submission and said, okay. So this is Phil making sure he cannot be blamed for the quality of the content that he puts on his own channel. All right? So someone criticized, not even criticized. He just says, it certainly was not great. And then Philip says, but I didn't make it. Like, he's not in responsible for all the stuff that goes on his own channel? Like, what is that? Uh, trust me, Phil, I know you did not make it, but whether or not people will understand would be the biggest issue. Some people will never understand, and I couldn't care less about them. <laughs> the officially approved this so you don't play may be unsub from KO Gaming. I'll stick to the unofficial ones. Off-brand cereal is better sometimes. Phil says, you liked your own tweet. You are a moron, LOL. Got him! What a clap back. You liked your own tweet, you dumb fuck. Wow, that guy, that guy still has not recovered. Has still not recovered from that. Not good at all. I think you should allow anything when it comes to making them instead of going through a screening process. Um, this video wasn't changed in any way besides removing two copyrighted songs. It's not edited at all. 
So no, what the fuck you're so I don't know what the fuck you're saying. No, what I'm saying is you shouldn't have such strict restraints of insults in a video. Allow the inting comments and all. Absolutely. Yeah, so I, I, I remember some time I've seen it. I know I've seen it. But I just, we're not gonna, it's not there. Is it lost to time? Maybe so. If anyone has more intel, I'll take it. But it looks like it might be lost to time. So anyways, we're gonna move together positively here. Um... Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. New intel. The first ever is we don't have the we don't have the video, but we do have a tweet that says what the game was. Oh no, I'm gonna keep that just in case. Uh, the game is Resident Evil Seven, as you can see from this tweet. Please enjoy the first ever official this say you don't play video Resident Evil Seven. I will click the video. It is private, unfortunately. As you can see, that video is now gone. Does anyone else have it? I will search the Wayback Machine right now, just in case. This video is going to be so fucking bad. This is the most dented thing to search for ever. But I will search it, just in case. Uh, it does not look like it. So yeah, so anyways, let's move on positively. Len, good question. We're going to see why it was privated. We will get to that lore. I do have that ready. So here we go. This this is from February 14th. Four Honor Begins. This is how you don't play. Reactions are priceless. And you can guess what that means. Uh, let's just say the response wasn't as warm as Philip was hoping. So busy. Last night I edited uh, these uh, new intro slash promotional trailers for both KO games. You know, if we hit the foot. Actually, I edited uh, these uh, new intro slash promotional trailers for both KO Gaming and DSP Gaming and I uploaded them yes. for 2017 since obviously these channels have changed a little bit from what they used to be. Um, and of course, the other thing I want to talk about on pre-stream, and then we'll get started. I don't want this to go too long. No, okay? too late. Hello? The other thing is... The video that I posted up on KO Gaming last night. This is how you don't play yeah, Resident how's it Evil going? 7. I knew <clears throat> that when I decided to uh, officially approve uh -oh. a this is how you don't play video. Uh oh. And start to kind of open up and stop being so obstinate about people making these kind of silly videos and criticizing me and my gameplay and all that. And I knew that it was going to have one hell of a reaction. And boy was I right. I've seen so some great you positive. knew it was going to have one hell of a reaction. Okay, let's just let's hear. All right, guys, what's the over under on how many reasons he gives? It's not his fault, right? How many reasons? <laughs> I'll put the over under on three on how many reasons it's not his fault. It sucks. Here we go. Stuff I've seen some ridiculously silly, stupid. Big ups, Wesley. So Phil, years after this, how you don't play, took off, decided to make his own versions by not actually making them himself. What a lazy idiot. Great work as always, ALT. Big ups, Wesley H. Yeah, so he, he did the least work possible owning the meme. This is the, as little work as you can possibly do to own a meme. Please make them for me, and then I'll be doing them too, because very cool. Five years too late. Negative stuff. I've seen people in the middle. No, Pretty no interesting. One, no, there's no one in the middle. Way. There's so no one in the don't middle. don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't right. know. Um... Go to KO Gaming, <laughs> youtube.com forward slash KO Gaming 1. All right. And. Oh my God. See Look at this. Look at this fan art. <laughs> Listen up a video. I've officially sponsored slash approved. Sponsored? Of one of these videos. So sponsored, sir. Do you know what sponsored means? Do you know what the word sponsor means? Because I don't think you do. <laughs> yeah, I've officially sponsored slash approved of one <laughs> no, of these videos. No, no, this no, is how no, you don't sir. play, where people take my gameplay from one of my raw playthroughs, and they edit it into a funny montage that basically makes fun of me, uh, calls me out on a lot. Right, I want to read the first definition of sponsor. Sponsor is a verb. It means to pay for someone to do something or for something to happen. That is what sponsor means. 
<laughs> so, Philip, did you sponsor them or... Huh? What? They edit it into a funny montage that basically makes fun of me, uh, calls me out on a lot of stuff, roasts me in a lot of ways. Just think about <laughs> when you see a, a, a roast of a famous comedian or a celebrity. That's kind of what This Is How You Don't Play is in a lot of ways, okay? Uh, well, well, whose? I thought you said they deteriorated past that. Oh, that was only Evil AJ's work. Okay, yeah. Think really big celebrity roasts, right? So, I posted this up, and some people no. seemed to really like it. They were like, wow, this is a good, positive change for Phil. He's opening up to this kind of stuff. He realizes now, you know, and it's funny because you say, yeah, four years later, I finally realize it, right? But the thing is, and I'll say this, I've said this before, I'll say it again. There is no handbook. There is no instruction manual on internet fame. All right? There just isn't. And for Internet me, fame. <laughs> There's no instruction manual to the massive amounts of internet fame I have acquired. You know, when, when people started, against my will, not even asking me for permission, downloading my videos and making these montages yes, that seemed fair use, sir. Yes. to laugh at me rather than laugh with me. No, no, Evil AJ was laughing with you. Make fun of me. Yes. And basically say that I suck and I'm a bad person. No, that, they didn't say anything that. They more just showed your gameplay and how stupid it was, actually. I have watched the Evil AJ one multiple times, actually. It really just pointed out how much you didn't respect the game, but yet still bitched at the game maker and how bad it was when it really was you not caring about the game. They didn't really say anything about he's a bad person in that first one. It's really just about how shitty he is at the game and how much... Not even that, because being bad at a game, lots of people are bad at a lot of games. But the thing that makes it... made that one is it's someone that loves the game, Evil AJ, showing how this person didn't even care to pl try to play the game, but yet still shit on the game because it didn't handhold him to the amount he wanted. But if you just did two seconds of caring, it does show you how to do stuff. When I started seeing these videos, I, you know, I, I didn't know how to react. Oh. I could have completely ignored them. I could have addressed each in individual one. I could have laughed with them and kind of embraced it. And basically I didn't do the latter. I did most of the former and none of the latter. Okay. Now, here we are years later, right? Oh, years and years later, I obviously realize. That was a short one. Later, but... right? Years and years later, I obviously realize that, you know, doing <laughs> the things the way that I did was not the right way to go about it. Being okay. angry that people want to basically share my content or a certain aspect of my content is not the way to go about it. What I should have said was, okay, people obviously like to see me fail. People like to roast me. And that's okay because I'm one of the very few YouTubers who's made a living showing 100% of everything I do with games. I'm not popular oh, on yeah, YouTube. Oh, yeah, that's the reason that Evil AJ made that. Uh huh. YouTube because I have highly edited scripted comedy, right? Where I take out my fails. No, people like my stuff because I show the fails. And so what I should have probably done was embrace this <laughs> phenomena and said, okay, people phenomena. like to see the fails. Let's get people officially making these things, right? Yeah, let's put and people to work. instead of attacking or... Not necessarily attacking, because it wasn't like I went out and I publicly started attacking everyone who made these videos. Oh, oh, is that worth a deep dive? I, I think actually you kind of did, didn't you? But <laughs> I think he did attack pretty hardcore, if memory serves. I think you kind of did publicly attack them, actually. You called them assholes multiple times. Said they suck. I pretty pretty much said, yeah, you almost got me killed. Thank you, Steve, for that. I believe he did say some fucked up shit about them, actually. So, uh, let's see the first time he says this is how you don't play. Uh, da -da -da. Okay, so, no, okay, I'm trying to, he doesn't talk about it too much. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Phil was, like, happy to interact with the SOK back in the day. It's so wild. Like, now it's like, like, this this tweet, I believe, is from Freddy Boy himself. The post is unavailable, as you can see. But this is just all SOK members, and Philip's just responding. Jerking yourselves off already? Let me start first. <laughs> I'm cool, guys. Allow me in your little group there. 
Like, he was so open to that, you know? Of course, he's talking about jerking off. Of course. <laughs> this is uh, two years before the, the incident, too. But it's very interesting how he was so trying to get... Not... Like, I know, he'll, he knows he'll never be in the group, but he definitely was, like, had the pulse of the group, you know? He had... He responded to them on the SOK forums and stuff, you know? But... But it was always not SOK forums. Excuse me. He responded to them on the King of the the uh, you know on Phil's own forums, like Freddie and them. They were posting all the time, and Phil would respond to him there too. Kind of like, well, if you make these videos, obviously you're a dick because you're stealing my stuff and stuff like that. I obviously I could have gone a, a, about it a much different way. Uh -huh. Okay, you Let's said attempt, it's attempted murder, right? And you know now I can say that because it's four years later. Oh. But, like I said, there's no handbook for Alrighty, internet everyone, fame, it's no instruction time. manual on how to go about doing stuff the right way. It's all a learning experience. And trust me, I'm sure there are people who have watched me and my experience as a YouTuber, and they learned from my mistakes, and they're doing much better. All right? So if anything, hopefully other people have learned. But yes, definitely. Okay, so definitely, timeline is, checks out. Uh, eight years ago was the doxing. And this video right here we're watching is seven years old. So he, yeah, he literally did say, if you made it this side you don't play, you is attempted murder. So that's how much he hated the this side you don't play. It was attempted murder. It is what it is. I, I finally, four years later, I'm just kind of like, you know, I think I'm going to embrace it and see, you know, what happens. So... I, you know, I, some people uh, wanted to submit these these montages and stuff for KO Gaming, and one of them, incidentally, was that this is how you don't play. And I watched this video, and I'm like, this video is good. Now, there are obviously some things in the video that could be improved, and yeah, there's a few cringy moments, but for the most <laughs> part, I watched this video and I laughed my ass off at a few in particular things that happened during it. <laughs> oh, and I'm like, what? The quick ones. For a few in particular things that happened during it. <laughs> And I'm like, why wouldn't I approve this? <clears throat> why wouldn't I want to share this with more people, right? So... I guess that's a sip. I post up this video yeah, okay. on KO Gaming. Yes. All right, and immediately, here's what happens. Uh-oh. There's people who watch This Is How You Don't Play because they like to laugh. They think that it's funny. <laughs> they think that it's entertaining. I think that's pretty much everyone that watches this say don't play. The goal is to have humor and comedy involved. And there's some people that understand that this is how you don't play only exists because I exist. And that there's some people that understand that this is how you don't play only exists because I exist. All right, let's see where he's going with this. <laughs> if you know, if I were to go away. As a business, that basically the whole source material would kind of be gone. Not to say that people haven't made these for other people, because they have. Yes. Um, but they're not they're never going to be as popular or have that core focus like they have since they started with my content. Oh, my okay. God, dude. He's taking credit for being the shittiest gamer of all time. So that's why people make this that you don't place about him, because is that his behavior on games and how he bitches it so much? Hey, guys, I, you, know, you guys might not know this, but I literally am the biggest lol cow. So if you lose me, you're kind of losing your main source of content. But I'm a very serious person. I have a serious business, too. But if they lose me, <laughs> you're kind of losing the whole this say you don't play thing, aren't you? Because I really do suck. As popular. That's what he's saying right now. Or have that core focus like they have. Since like with the like same thing he does with the fucking Law Cow Live podcast, you know? That's why they wanted me so bad. The show wouldn't work without me. Yes, that's what they first thought because you were the biggest one, the biggest douchebag there. The biggest lol cow there that would say the craziest shit. Wings is basically boring on that show now. He doesn't even qualify, really. Boogie's just, you know, being boogie. That's whatever. But now, as you can see, lol cow live podcast has realized they need to get other guests in here to make the shit, you know, interesting. Because if you had Philip, Wings, and Boogie, fuck guess. We don't need fucking guess. Tell them to talk about something, you know? Ask him about, you know, what's your thoughts on the, uh, what's your thoughts on the, on the election coming up? Oh my God. Can you imagine? <laughs> that would be an hour of gold, you know? And they'd all start talking. Phil would talk about Sikorsky, you know? <laughs> but now they have kind of two people that are kind of too normal, you know? Since they started with my content, okay? <coughs> excuse oh, me. Oh, excuse me. So there's some people that understand that. And hell, there's actually a lot of people who saw these videos over the years 
and they became fans of mine. They actually tune into the streams uh -huh. and they watch my raw gameplay and everything. Right, you know what right. I mean? Right. Yep. 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 So, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. So, you know, those are good. Those are people who kind of tongue in cheek understand. They're yes, they're laughing at me, but they also understand that, you know, you have to laugh with me as well and not just basically rip me a new asshole and, and make me look like a horrible person. Because if you do, I won't be able to do this for a job anymore, right? Well, but is... then there's this other group of people that watch these videos. Yeah. And they're just malicious, immature, fucking dicks. That's me. That's me. The only reason they watch the videos is not necessarily for a laugh, but because they're malicious, these people. Yes, that's what I do. I watch this that you don't play is because I'm malicious. Actually, want to see me burn. They yes. want to see my business fail. They want to hurt me. I watch this that you don't play is because I'm malicious. I don't know about you guys. They can, and so for them, oh well, this is great because people steal Phil's content and make these videos, and we can watch them without giving Phil any ad revenue. Uh -huh. And he'll go out of business, and we don't give a fuck. Even though they're so stupid, they don't realize that would mean that's the end of this is how you don't play if I went out of business. But they're not that smart. I mean, if anyone who would have no morality or conscious, you know, feeling of, oh, man, I want to hurt someone I don't even know who's never done anything wrong to me. Oh. Um, obviously, there's something fucking wrong with them to begin with. Definitely. Right? So these people, they watch this. This is how you don't play video. Now, uh -huh. here's the thing. No. I have not edited this video in any way. This this is how you don't... Oh, here we go. Remember I said the over-under is at three. For reasons that it's not his fault, it sucks. So here's the first one. I didn't edit it in any way. That's one. I'm counting that as one. Video I posted up last night on KO Gaming. I didn't edit it. I didn't request that anything be taken out. I didn't say, oh, it's too, it's mm, too harsh. I won't, I won't count that one. I won't count that one. It's kind of the same thing. Serious. You count it too? This video must be t tamed for it to be on KO Gaming. <laughs> no. This video must be tamed. This video, you're seeing it in its original- <laughs> This video must be tamed. This thing's to the wild animal. This video is wild. You can't calm this- you can't tame this beast. <laughs> must be t tamed for it to be on KO Gaming. No! This video, you're seeing it in its original form. In fact, the only thing that was changed was there were two copywritten songs in it originally, and I was afraid that those were going to get flagged on YouTube, so I did ask the guy, can you re-edit it and just replace those songs with more generic music? But for the most part, you're seeing the original video. I didn't request anything like that at all. Okay. okay. Oh! So that was a base one. Here we go. I didn't request it's short, anything but like impactful. that at all. Three, two, one. Oh, oh no, yeah, yeah. Okay. Three, two, one. Snorknition. Let's clean snort off. Houston, we have gout. So this video is an original, this is how you don't play. This is what uh, it would have been. In fact, it is what it is because this guy already posted it on his own personal YouTube channel previously, but wasn't getting a lot of attention for it because the bottom line is so many people make this is how you don't play now okay. that they've all watered each other down and basically killed the whole phenomenon. So this guy was kind of upset that, you know, he put all this time and effort into this video and no one was watching it. So I said, I'll feature on KO Gaming. So I put it up and... You've got people, I swear to you, it's so silly, so stupid, right? And here's what it said. This video obviously was edited by Phil to be tame, and it's not a true, this is how you don't play. <laughs> or other people, this, this video is terrible, because it's approved by Phil, even though, keep in mind, this video was already uploaded without me, or my permission, because I uploaded it to KO Gaming, it immediately became bad. Yes, that's true. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Some people think, that I made the video, when I blatantly say in the fucking video, I didn't. It even says in the video who made it and everything. It's obviously not me in the video mm -hmm. talking in the video. Um, some people say that I edited the video to be tame. No, that's false. Do not Completely tame this false. beast. It's a wild animal. Um, really ridiculous. Anything Just else? Or? Silly shit. Oh, okay. Silly the shit. crazy ass fucking conspiracy theories. Right? So just because I liked the video, and I approved it, and I posted it on KO Gaming, it's immediately bad. <clears throat> Despite the fact that it is legit. He is struggling right now. Beforehand. <laughs> I have nothing to do. I have he no is struggling. in the making of the video whatsoever. It's bad. So that's the mentality of the idiot. That's the mentality of the dumb, immature moron who doesn't yes, understand the whole mentality behind this is how you don't play is supposed to be, yeah, we're making fun of I Phil. I love this. I love that Phil's a this is how you don't play culture expert.
I love this. He understands everything about this Saeedon play so much that he knows the, the thinking, the mentality required. It's awesome. He's an expert, more than me. <laughs> The whole mentality behind this is how you don't play is supposed to be, yeah, we're making fun of Phil, oh. but we're not necessarily being so malicious <laughs> that we want Phil to fucking fail and have his business fail and, oh. you know, have all this horrible stuff happen to him. I've been wrong There's all actually along. a group of people out there that are so mentally deficient oh. that because they watch those videos, this is what they think. They actually think I legitimately am. I'm a terrible person. That's me, yes. The first thing I ever saw was this how you don't play, and that's where I picked up all my, and also I am mentally deficient. So, yes, he's talking to me right now. And they wish death upon me, and they wish that people would come and beat me up, and steal all my shit, and burn my fucking house down, and they swat me, ah. and DDoS attack me. Swat, this is yes. how mentally just nuts these fucking people are. Mentally nuts, yes. And it's hilarious, because you look at the video, it's got t more thumbs down, right, than thumbs up. Yes. Which is hilarious, because it's a legit, this is how you don't play. So if this, <laughs> on its own, was posted on the internet. Salt, oh, it's salt. great. All I can taste is salt. Because it makes fun of Phil, it's good content, thumbs up. <laughs> but because I approve it and post it on my channel, oh, thumbs down. Yes. <laughs> That's how much people hate you, because of your own actions. Yes, correct. It just doesn't make any sense. And that is the mentality of these morons. Yes, yes, absolutely. So that's correct. A, it's just so mind blowing. It's so mind blowing that I, see, I read the com reading the comments. I'm looking out. I'm like, these kids. I mean, and I say kids, but that's the sad part. Is what? Is that they're probably not kids. These are actually probably adults who have the mental capacity of like a four year old. Yes, that's where I tapped out. And the out. things that they four say and old. do, no actual conscious, <laughs> intelligent thought, no morality, nothing. Just complete and utter spewing of shit yes. onto the fucking internet because it's anonymous yes. and because there's no consequences for it. <laughs> Oh my god, come on! It sounds like these are edited in! That was incredible! What? <laughs> it's so crazy, anonymous, and because there's no consequences for it. Oh my god! It's a clean takeoff, we have snorknition. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and because there's no consequences for it. Oh, I missed it. Hold on. I get it's it. It's so get crazy. It. I get it. Renton, to NASA to <laughs> Houston to Renton. We have we have a, we have permission for takeoff. Yes. Because there's no consequences for it. Three, two, one. Snortnition. Houston, we have a clean takeoff. And that's gout. Sword it's speed, so gentlemen. crazy. <laughs> and I read it. Oh my god! But I, this is good because I was actually expecting. Oh no, this. that's a good idea. It's the remix to Pignition. That in uh, ant poison in the kitchen. <laughs> that's a good song idea. I was expecting Pignition. to see it, go. and I wanted to see what was going to happen if I approved the video. Right, a video that was anti me. You know, makes fun of me, roasts me. Now, automatically, the video's bad. Uh -huh. so How long are we on this, man? I'm anything, ready to move here's on. Here's what this shows. Okay, what There's does this show? There's a large group of people out there who like me and like my stuff. Yes. They might not necessarily approve of everything that I do and say, but they understand how it's entertaining, they understand how it's fun. <clears throat> and yes, every once in a while... Well, Phil's done some market research, so we're going to hear all of his different quadrants of customers. So the first one is people that understand how it's fun and and also understand how it's entertaining, but they don't agree with everything. That's the first group of customers. Let's listen to the next group of customers. You might make fun of me or watch a video that makes fun of me, but it's all kind of understood oh. under the, the, the umbrella of, you know, I'd rather have Phil exist and be successful. Oh, this, so that excuse me, this is the quadrant. With him or at him or whatever. All right, so the pie chart, this side of the pie chart is, I want people to exist and be successful that we continue to laugh at him. Okay, that's what that quadrant is. People that laugh at Phil and like Phil, but want him to exist because we can laugh at him if he exists. So many people like that. I've met a lot of those people. There's conventions for them, actually. I've seen them. I've been there. The millions of people, dude. Will exist and be successful yes. so that we can continue to laugh with or at him or whatever. Okay, yes. Right? It's the bigger good, the greater good versus <laughs> it's the, the bigger, other it's the greater good for the greater good of humanity. <laughs> the greater good, excuse me, the bigger good. The bigger good of humanity 
is to keep Phil alive. We need the bigger good. Right? <laughs> it's the bigger good, the greater good, versus <laughs> the other group of just retards. Oh! They're just so dumb. Ooh, mama! <laughs> the other group of just retards. Ah. They're just so dumb ah. that they actually would wish, like, actual pain to me and thing. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, that's, yes. how dumb can you be? Yes. You might really dislike someone. Yes. I really dislike certain people. I but, really dislike certain celebrities and stuff. Oh, but, and now, oh, I dislike certain celebrities, like Tom Cruise. You know, we're in the same boat. We're basically the same uh, in the same field. For me, to go after them... No you one's going after mean? you, okay. Is it, oh, I wish Watching this say don't play is now going after him. Death upon this person. I wish that the, their whole business would fail and they'd have to go flip burgers as for a living. That's insane. Ooh. That is insanity. And there's a group of people. This is how they think. Yes, that's like, the other quadrant. What? That's the more fun. That's, that that's, is that's the more fun convention, by the way. Mental deficiency. Uh, definitely. And that's why it's so funny. I, no, it's I not. challenge go read the comments on the video because you'll see there's two completely different groups of people. Intelligent adults are like, wow, this is great. Phil's embracing. This is how you don't play. This is a big change for him. This is, you know, good. We'd like to see more of this kind of thing. Uh -huh. And then you so got people that suck your ass. And let's hear the other side. People that don't suck your ass. Let's hear how they're, what, in your words, you said they were, I don't want, I'm, I'm saying this from Phil's words. You, I believe you've referred to them as retards. Let's see what you say there. I want to hear what I, I don't want to put any words in your mouth. Don't want to have any nuggets of truth or slander here. You got the other idiots. Uh huh. And it's just like, oh my god. Oh, well, you called them something else earlier. <laughs> huh? Oh, you you said something so else. Anyway, oh, okay. We I changed just, you it. know, ah. very interesting. Oh. And uh, okay, okay, okay. You know, got it, I'm, got it. I'd be curious. I've got a few more people now who've contacted me and said, "Well, Phil, I'd be, I'd like to maybe make one of these for you." Um, you know, and yeah, you know, it'll have some nasty stuff in it, but that's the point, I think. Again, it's supposed to be a roast, right? Oh. So I currently have like two or three people who are saying they're gonna start working on montage. Big ups Ramen Brahmin in the house. Another DSP lie. He has, he, he, he has had positive videos made from his clips, but because it was not received positively, he shut it down. DSP is the detractor here. Yes, he did have people making clips for him. He absolutely did. But no one liked it, so fuck it. Now we're going to try negative shit. Whatever it takes to get views and whatever it takes to get money, that's all he's after in the least amount of effort from him. And stuff. He would rather do this shit. Spew off this shit for now. 20 minutes we've been listening to this fucking shit. You know? Then just st do his what he thinks is the right idea. He's just doing... <laughs> He's just doing the least of, of, of he's, he's scrambling right now in 2017. Let's be honest. He's scrambling because money's going down. Machinima re, uh, Machinima fucking re, re, uh, what is it called? Reconstructed his contract, restructured his contract, with less money. Now he's trying to do KO gaming. He has an idea. Now we have to pig explain or retcon all the reasons we're so awesome for this. How you don't play now when really we don't have to do this whole rigmarole. Um, I don't think nice burp. that they're going to be coming out anytime soon. Because what? They weren't well received? Some people have just started work you, on these. Why are you worried about them? Because they're, as you said, mentally deficient? Okay. But hey, as more and more stuff um, come out, uh, you know, and, and, and... This is pre... We are in the same year that Leanna would leave. This is February. She would leave in June or July. I forget exactly. They are submitted to me. This was when this year was happening. It was the best year ever. After, he would say this is the worst year of his life. Me. Uh, uh, big ups to Korsky Vice President. Made a great choice uh, many years ago. How on earth did he think taking over, talking over a slideshow was a good user experience? And he did it until like 2020. Oh, you're not liking this? You're not liking the constant shilling? <laughs> But he's not a shill. We're going to keep releasing it on KO Gaming. I think that this community creations program is a great idea. I think it's going to work out positively in the long run. Is it? <clears throat> yes, this is Panda's best year. Uh, excuse me. And uh, I think it's going to be for the best. I think people are going to like it. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. So, anyway. Let's go ahead. Let's uh, start with For Honor here. Um, and see what the campaign is about. I'm curious. Okay, so that was that was the longest video of the day probably because he has to explain about this. This is how you don't play bullshit. How there's two camps. People that like... Uh, it's kind of hard to keep up with it, but people that like Phil don't necessarily like Phil, but they want him to continue so they still have someone to laugh at, which he still has said recently. He has that opinion. 
And then there's people that want to see him dead. Like people that maliciously watch. This is how you don't play. I don't know about you. That's what I do. Um, okay. Side thing here. Um, I really believe here. Um, that this, listen to this. Okay, so this is Phil. I can't show you because it's too high. But it, I promise you it's DSP. It says, add a message to your video. Okay? That's all this tweet says. It's a public tweet still up. Oh, Logan K with the foil. Love, uh, love dude, what's it called? Dude love ping. Big ups. <laughs> uh, add a message to your video with the, uh, YouTube link, all right? So look at this. Add a message to your video. And he has the YouTube link, okay? So, I'm gonna click this right now, and we're gonna watch this video, all right? This is not really on topic, but it kind of is. So, this is what's the- What's going on, everybody? This is the trailer to KO Gaming, all right? So, obviously- Theo theory here, but I'm wondering if someone did, did someone else edit this and then he said, add a message to it. Could that be right? Because reminder, this is the time when there's no comments allowed. No comments were allowed on this one, uh, this video for whatever reason. So it's just very, very odd, right? One of those little fucking stupid things, uh, that says add a message to your video. Why would you use that language? Add a message to your video. And the video is the KO Gaming trailer from 2017. It's just strange. I'm not saying it's anything nefarious. It's just, it's one of those weird fucking things you find. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it wasn't even video responses. Video responses were long dead at this point. Like, it feels like he was trying to message somebody something. And did he fuck up with the wording or whatever? But I don't know. But anyways, let's watch the uh, KO Gaming trailer. What's going on everyone, Phil here and welcome to KO Gaming, a channel that I've sought to make your source for highly edited gameplay content here on YouTube since 2016. Highly edited. It's Dude, it's 2017, you can't say the year before. Highly edited, by the way. For highly edited gameplay content here on YouTube since 2016. Oh wow, one it's year. It's here that you can find things. Oh yeah, does this start with a smack? Did I miss it? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah. These videos always start with a smack. Big ups, Tractor Goose. They always start with a smack. And sometimes they're ed very edible. Uh, edible. Sometimes they're very hearable. And sometimes they're audible. And sometimes they're not. I was looking for the word audible, not edible. What's going on, everyone? <laughs> Phil here, and welcome to KO Gaming, a channel that I've... <laughs> 16. It's here that you can find things like highly edited and detailed gameplay reviews, Ooh, countdowns, cool. montages, and first impressions on hot new releases. Oh, cool. In addition, it's also the home for my year-end series, including things like my most disappointing games of the year countdown. I've never seen that, have you? No Man's Sky punching the CD with a great to picture Philip there. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that, I don't think. Funniest Moments Countdown, and my Game of the Year Award. I've seen that one. Awards. And I've also launched the KO Gaming Community Creation Submission Project, by which- Oh my god, now it's a project! You can't do this! This is illegal! We can't have this many name changes! The, K the KO Gaming Community Submission Project! Awards. And I've also launched the KO Gaming Community Creation Submission Project, KO Gaming Community Submission Project now. We're up to five. This is our fifth name for this. I, I said program, but now it's project. Big Ups Code Side Phil says, Feels like we're going back to seven, 2017 when BG3 ends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. By which you can take my raw gameplay okay. from my other YouTube channel, DSP Gaming, and make it into your own creative montages and entertaining works for submission here on KO Gaming, where I'll upload them and highlight them and give you free promotion. So it's a I'll pre give you free promotion. He has to say that in the trailer. KO Gaming, where I'll upload them and highlight them and give you free promotion. Uh -huh. So it's a pretty awesome project. Are I you sponsoring them? Or? That you have enjoyed everything that I've put up here since its inception. Awesome what? project. I certainly hope that you have enjoyed everything that I've put up here since its inception in early 2016. Now, if you're looking for more raw but gameplay content, such as <laughs> ongoing Let's Plays and playthroughs, you're probably going to want to head over to my DSP Gaming YouTube oh, channel. Okay. And if you're looking for the more personal side of things like daily vlogs and the like, you're going to want to head over... Daily vlogs. You don't do daily vlogs, so you're not going to get daily vlogs. If you're looking for daily vlogs, you're not going to get them. But if you want vlogs that happen very infrequently and I also eat food, go to the King of Hate vlogs. Over to the King of Hate vlogs. I recommend the King of Divas vlogs, actually, myself. It's a better channel. Uh, 
I believe King of King of Divas has some good stuff. So check out the King of Divas vlogs. <laughs> or there's like the, there's so many names back then that have the King of something on YouTube. There's like the King of Weight vlogs and stuff. It's very funny. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Kevin, you got it. King of Weight HD. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone, and I hope you enjoy your stay here on KO Gaming. Enjoy your stay. It's what is it, hotel? <laughs> All right, anyways, back. Let's leave our hotel stay. All right, February 15th. Here we go. <clears throat> but, like, I could do a pretty good vlog about this and relate it to my experience. Oh, this may be inappropriate, guys, so cover your ears. All right, I got, I got it. I got it. I know it's inappropriate. I accept it. I accept that. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Well, I guess it's afternoon for some. It's probably evening for others. Hell, it might even be the morning for some people. And welcome, welcome. Oh, here we go. R not really even rip me a new asshole, but basically lie about me. Being a fucking idiot. Oh, here we go. Sorry. To cover what... We're still coping about this, how you don't play. It's new and what's interesting, and hopefully people are liking it. Um... Definitely, I'll be reviewing For Honor. Definitely, I'll be reviewing Neo once I finish it. If and when I ever freaking finish about Yakuza 0. <laughs> I definitely like to do that, but, you know, review it. Um, <clears throat> but uh, we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens, okay? All right. Okay, big ups to David. He has found what could be the missing link. More important than the actual missing link. We have the missing this is how you don't play. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the missing this is how you don't play. It is here. Big ups, David. Dragon Slayer Vlogs presents. <laughs> Dragon Slayer Vlogs. Now, Dragon Slayer Productions has many anti-DSP videos, I believe. Uh, this channel, by the way, is the Cock Channel, C-O-C-C. -C. Uh, big ups for some, keeping this cock alive. Uh, but Dragon Slayer Vlogs, or Dragon Slayer Productions. Oh, it is! It is him! Look at this comment! Oh my god, we're... Yes! This is it, boys! We got him! Alright, so let me make sure I can show, show you the comment, because it is pretty legendary. Oh, uh, come on. Uh, I'll show it this way. <clears throat> okay. Hang on. Let me show you. Hang on. There it is. Let's make it bigger. So, Dragon Slayer Production says, I still regret making this video. Thank God I did become a better editor from taking the feedback on the video. Big ups, Dragon Slayer Production. Dude, we found it. Awesome. And this is Cock, which I will subscribe to because I, I need to see if this gentleman has anything else for WPIG. So there we go. Like that thing. And I'm subscribed. So, let's check out what all the fuss is about, right? Remember... This is, they said very negative things about Philip. It's supposed to be a roast. Um, all that shit we heard. Let's hear it from the legend that, uh, Brooke Pignosis Dragon Slayer Productions. Ah, oh, shout outs. <laughs> okay. Painting himself as a troll, maybe? Alright. And, you know, intro's good. Hello, everyone, and welcome to This Is How You Don't Play Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. And I am, well, I'm not sure about this part. This was a little bit unknown character. There's one, two, or three. I, God damn it. Why doesn't anyone listen to me? No. Not sure about this part, but oh. it's the beginning was hype. You Just kinda... get on with it. This is how you don't play. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, because we're trying something new. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? DSP. Ah, so i oh, telling you right now, those are the only comments that will appear in this video. So no comments. This is how you don't play. And by the, and this is how you don't play is like we're only comments, basically. Yeah, it is launch night. I'm wearing my Resident Evil T-shirt. Oh yeah, we Look, can see oh that. Oh my god, who the hell? Rolling up my chest cares? here. I'm hyped. All right. For the release of. All right, let's. I'll give that. Uh, here, here's how I'll judge a few of the jokes. 
Would that fly in a real this say don't play? I would say yes to that. Okay, that part would. All right. Now let's see what let's see how far we get uh, after that. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, which just unlocked on my PS4 not two minutes ago. I'm live here on a stream, but I'm also obviously recording That's for YouTube. Fair. I'm very excited. I, I say thumbs up to that as well. <laughs> you know, I'm going to do full face cam for this playthrough. And, uh... But I, I agree, Spalter. I think I know Dragon Slayer has other videos. I've definitely seen them. But it sounds like at this point, he says, I still regret making this video. So it sounds like that... Um, at this point, he he regrets making it for I guess the reasons he made it for back then. Some people are saying I should dim the lights. All right, that's funny. I don't really think I can dim them that much. Hold on, let me see if I can dim them slightly. This okay. I'm on board with this too. This is so far passable. Bit. I would not know this is a uh, cock. That a little better. This I don't play so far. Because I want you to be able to see me on the face cam. That's the thing. If I turn the lights off, you can't see me. So what's the point of the face cam? <clears throat> you, Ethan, I miss you so much. I'm sending. Oh, Ethan, I thought she was talking to me. Huh. Bye, baby. Where's the butter joke? What the hell? Look at him, he's covered in blood. Look. <laughs> what yeah. the hell? The left house covered in dirt? <laughs> Ethan Mars, right? It's him. This is his second life. Hello? He divorced hey, his family, he's now he's up. off in this game. Oh, hey. Are we doing another right? intro? <laughs> what? The other night. Yeah. All right, we're losing yeah, no, a bit no, here. Good. Let's go about halfway good. through. We don't need a second uh, intro. Safe room. Safe room. Holy fuck, dude. Woo! Okay. Turn into a huge pussy. That's how you survive. <laughs> Run like a puss. All right, I'm gonna look at this treasure photo one more time. Yeah, oh, like, kind of need a joke channel. there, don't we? Kind of missing a little, uh, missing something. It means I'm infected. Uh. Well, shut the fuck up. I mean, oh hell yeah! Come on! That I am the Sloops back anyway. All right, this is bad. I'm kind of bored, being honest. Bad. Seven now plus the fucking uh, Revelation spinoffs. It's like what the fuck. Yeah, I'm kind of bored. Proving Phil's point there. Oh, well, I'm felt not... a lot like the class. Already one three hours today, Phil. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time. Mm, yeah, I can see why this got. Sh I can see why this got shit on. Right? It doesn't have any teeth to it. Right? It's kind of just the teeth are missing. Let's see. The okay, let's see this. Let's see this meme works. There. Yeah, look, the staples on his fucking wrist. There's no malicious. There's no malicious. I'm not feeling malicious when I watch this. I want to feel the maliciousness. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna be like Frankenstein by the end of this game. It only took him now to see how he got the staples Fuck on you. Him. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! Oh shit! Kojima. Kojima shout out. Now let's see what you've been doing for dinner. Yeah! Come on! Come on, boy! Uh, you hear that? A nice boy shout out. Here you go. Now let's see what you've been doing for dinner. Yeah! Come on! Come on, boy! This is this is so much so cancer fuck. that, that I can feel the tumors is growing off my back. So. I guarantee you're still alive. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Now, where the fuck do I go? How do I get out of here? Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? So fucked up. Ah. Please? <clears throat> oh my, oh my god, are you serious? I told you. Alright, this is not... It's not working out. 
We did find... Big ups for finding it, though. It does make the episode more complete that we have it, and now it's not lost media. Uh, but yeah. That's... Yeah. All right, let's get back to how Phil is handling that video getting negative feedback. Let's rock. So outside of that, the one thing I do want to talk about as an update is... Uh-oh. The, uh... Like, this is how you don't play video, the first official one ever. Yeah, what happened? Uh, that went out, uh, on a Monday night. So, it's funny, because, you know, so many people... Oh, God, Phil's gonna put up a... This is how you don't right, play video. You for this is gonna be bad, this is gonna be good, and a lot of different feelings about it, okay? Big ups, I need a hand job. Um... In my opinion, it's gone well. Yeah, I, when I hear this music, it starts, you know, a little rumbling starts happening. <laughs> Blood starts flowing, if you know what I'm saying. It's gone very well. Despite <laughs> the fact that the brain-dead drooling fucking ooh, idiots ooh, ooh, ooh. who only watch this is... Brain-dead drooling? Earlier, you used the R word with them. Do you want to use that again, or...? Despite the fact that the brain-dead drooling fucking idiots ah. who only watch This Is How You Don't Play because they like the ones that make me look terrible and basically rip, rip, not really even rip me a new asshole, but basically lie about me. And How do they lie about you? How did the evil AJ lie about you? Blatantly make me look like an insanely bad person. Yes, so that that's kind look, of the point. And no, no, actually, no, because no one's really trying to make him look like a bad person. They're showing things he did on his own stream. Never watch my content again. Yes. Um, outside of those people... People seem to like it, and or they say <laughs> outside of the people that don't like it, everyone loves it. I wish I could live in that world. Not good, but it's not bad. Here's some criticism, and that's good. That's a good thing. Okay. Because first of all, I didn't make the video. That's number one. Uh, I didn't make the video, so. And number two, you know, if we could get people who want to do this style of video for KO Gaming with the community submissions program coming up, and they see constructive criticism, they're going to be able to take that, and they're going to be able to change it into a better product. And that's what people need. You know, a lot of people yes. are saying too many memes, um, too too much of an intro with the guy kind of talking on the cam. Maybe if he'd done it for like a, a, couple, a minute, it would have been good. Instead, he went too long and stuff like that. Um, so that's couldn't good. You, that's couldn't you give him that criticism before the video came out? I remember you want to... I thought there was quality standards on this channel. Good, positive, constructive criticism. Okay. And that's awesome. And that's okay. That's the difference between... This oh, Big Us Frog Machine. There's an episode of SOK uh, SoCast with Dragon Slayer talking about the video. That might be interesting. That's a little too deep for today, but that might be interesting. At least I'll give it a shot. This video I wasn't good. That's a mem I, I'll, uh, this week, by the way, I did a members-only behind-the-scenes style stream where we were just listening to that fucking podcast with DSP and the P-Dog. <laughs> so maybe that's a members-only style, listening to the SoCast of Dragon Slayer. Because of this, and here's constructive criticism. And, and by the way, I just do that because like I feel bad that members don't have anything special. I'm not trying to like paywall anything, but like members don't have anything special, so I thought like that's kind of cool, but... And didn't say that he's a, a thief. Not trying to be a douchebag. A Criticism or this video wasn't good because you know it didn't say that Phil was a Nazi and a pedophile and didn't say that he's a, a thief and that he treats <laughs> his friends like his friends his uh, uh, fans like shit <laughs> and he's a horrible person. You should never watch his videos. It didn't say that. This isn't good. It's like boy, if you think that you're a fucking retard because <laughs> that's mouth drooling. There you go. Isn't good. It's like boy, if you think that. You're a fucking retard, oh, because right. big that's the complete difference between laughing with someone and laughing at someone. Ah. Actually trying to basically roast someone and have some fun at their expense, but everyone gets the joke, versus actually trying to intentionally hurt someone. That makes, that's you, that makes you, as Philip says, retarded. That's the difference. Okay. And if you think that intentionally hurting someone is okay, you are a fucking immoral person. And you really should get checked out. You should go to the doctor. Yes. Or a psychiatrist or whatever the fuck you need. I will Because do that's that. fucked up. Uh -huh. And that's the difference. And I think that's a lot of people, sadly, the people who are downvoting the video, there they are. You know what I mean? The big wave of people coming in and saying, oh, well, this isn't the usual, this is how you don't play, where everyone basically makes Phil look like the devil, so no one will ever watch his content, and he'll go out of business again. So this, <laughs> this sucks. Thumbs down. Excuse, excuse me, doctor. I'm immoral. And uh, I think I might uh, be mentally, what is it, mentally deficient. I enjoy laughing at a bad gamer on the internet. Could you have anything for that? I'm like, oh my god, are you fucking serious? Uh-huh. Oh. But anyway. Careful, careful. The video has 
just about, it's just under 7,000 views <laughs> yeah. uh, in a day and a half. Whoa. So it's obvious that there's some interest and people obviously are watching the video. So that's good. And I've already gotten a few other people who are saying they, they'd be interested in possibly doing a video of this style. Um, and that's good. Okay. But I haven't gotten any like solid committals and or like uh, time frames of when I... Dude. And that's good. But I haven't gotten any like solid committals and or like uh, time frames of when I can expect to get anything like that. So committals. <clears throat> I thought it was commitments, but I guess committal so works as well. Committals. I, I would say commitments, but I am checking the dictionary and committals is a word. But for me, that's a commitment. But and yes, thank you, Steve, for pointing that out. He you were you were, you released three in one week. We're already at four and there's only nine total. <laughs> But we got we don't have enough committals. But I haven't gotten any like solid committals and or like uh, time frames of when I can expect <laughs> to get anything like that. So, <clears throat> so okay, we shall see. Okay, we anything, shall see what happens with anything that. Anything else, I hope that will get excited. And, and you know, it's not only about that style of video either. People want to make montages for KO Gaming and stuff that are not like, this is how you don't play. You can continue to make those as well. You know, those videos that were released uh, over the past week before this one on Monday also are very welcome. If you watch my stuff and you want to, you know, maybe do a little side project and get you a little bit of a, a shout-out credit or whatever on the channel, you know, then so be it. Please uh, consider it. Contact me, darksidefellahotmail.com or, you know, PM me on the forums. We'll talk uh -huh. about it. You yep, know what yep. I mean? Please give me free we'll movies. Talk back and forth free about videos, it. please. Thank you. You have my permission to keep making videos for me. Thank you. Ah. Okay. Okay, are we done yet? I want to X this video out. I'm done with this video. Anything else? So, hopefully... Oh, God. All right. Hopefully, KO Gaming will now continue to be a mix of content. It'll be no, me it reviewing won't. games Spoiler, when I finally finish won't. them and I get the chance Thank to you do it. Me, upping your me doing kind of first that. impressions videos and stuff like Lord that. Kane. Every once in a while doing a special project or a montage or something like that. And then other people also submitting their content. You know, that's my goal is to kind of make it an interactive after. channel. It's not just about me constantly. It's after Apocalypse and also after restructuring of contact. Uh, or he says... Um, uh, what's, what did he, how did he word it again with the contract? But I can say restructuring of the contract with Machinima so he's making less money. Putting stuff out, but about sharing my playthroughs. That's and why KO Gaming came about at all. It's because he wanted to, you know, s save the sinking ship, kind of. With everyone and people, what people liked about a certain playthrough and stuff like that. I actually had someone who contacted me and said that they may do kind of a retrospective series about all the From Software games that I've played, oh, starting God, all the way on. back. <laughs> Oh, God! So, come you know, on. we'll see. That could be pretty good. Um, it, You know, it, again, the thing is, I haven't had any committal. It's not like, oh, I'm definitely doing it, and here's no the committal. date or whatever. Nothing like that. So it'll be great if it, if it, when it happens, but I can't really promise you guys anything about that, you know? <clears throat> okay. Oh, Did I miss it? the date or whatever. Nothing like that. You know, it, again, the thing is, I haven't had any committal. It's not like, I'm pretty good. Um... It, you know, it, all right, whatever. So, Missed it. I don't care. Okay. Okay. We done? All right. So we're going to get started here momentarily. Okay. We're done. Thank God. All right. A few days later, another mention of it. Ah, so hope you'll check that out. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, also, in regards. This is spitting out the same exact shit over and over. Okay. Blocks. Hope you'll check that out. Okay, okay. We'll check it out. Definitely. Um, <clears throat> now, also, in regards to KO Gaming. <laughs> And the Community <laughs> Content Submissions Program. It was I'm, like an intro song. He said KO Gaming, then gave it the old snort. Like intro music? For like wrestler, dude. Watch it. Watch. Um, now, also, in regards to KO Gaming... <laughs> and oh, the Community okay. Content Submissions Program. I've got a couple updates here. Community for, Content Submission Program. We're back on program now. Not not pro, not the project. For everyone, okay? Yes, what is it? Um, I've got a couple people who are already working on videos. I know I have one person who said that they're going to go back to my history with From Software Games and kind of do like a montage series where they take uh, the evolution of how I... Uh, played in the older games versus now and how I've gotten much better and I, I have a growing appreciation for the games now and stuff like yes, that. Yes, that's going to be awesome. Um, Can't wait for that They're going to be working on a video like that and or a series of videos like that. 
All right. All right. So that's one person who's working on stuff. That sounds high. Um, I actually have heard just right here in the stream chat, I believe that... That's the uh, first intern. Anyone else? Uh, we've got uh, a couple people who mentioned they're going to be working on stuff. I believe Gino. Gino Saji is, said he might be oh, working on a yeah, Gino. Scarface Whoa. kind of montage slash this is how you don't play video. Never happened. All right. Thank you for re upping And then I, I actually that. got a message today from a former troll. A person who used to troll me all the time, or at least for a certain period of time, they were trolling. Goes by the name of Fred Fox. It's really crazy. He said he wants to make a thousand videos for me on my channel. So we're going to talk about that. I'm really interested in this. The hell out of me. They already have a This Is How You Don't Play video made, and they'd like me to review it for possible <laughs> entry into the program on KO Gaming. I've not had a chance to actually watch the video yet. It just submitted to me last night, and it's like a 50-minute video. Uh, I haven't had a single free second to even take a look at this thing yet. <laughs> so, if I have a ch <laughs> So, I had a single free second to even take a look at this thing. Yeah. Three, two. That was early. That was an early technician. <laughs> so, if I have a chance, I'm going to watch through it and talk to this person. And I'll be honest here. Uh -oh. I'm going to be very honest with uh -oh. everyone. Okay? Now we're in trouble. It's going to take kind of a leap of faith in a lot of ways to trust certain people. Especially people who have been pretty nasty to me in the past. It's not that hard. Watch the video. That's the beginning and end of it. Watch the video they give you. Decide if you want that on your channel and put it out. That's the beginning and end of it, sir. Who gives a shit if they're a troll? If they give you video and say you can put it on your channel, put it up if you like it. What is this? Big up, Jay Wuso. There's DSP New Candy Business Venture. Committals. There's disappointment in every bite. Now including toxic flavors. <laughs> that would work. Committals. Say hello to committals. Lord Kane in the house said this guy uses a thesaurus, I swear. <laughs> well... I think he uses more of a, his gin brain memory from, like, his grandparents talking. That's what I think. You know, watching Nick at night. Um, and, you know, in that regard, you say, can I trust this person to who wants to get their video featured? That if I put their video on my channel, that they're not going to be dicks and try to co content strike me or would a copyright strike me with bullshit. You know what I mean? Um... It is kind of a, a a big trust issue. Now, the good news <laughs> is if any of these idiots actually do something like that, if anyone, oh, I'm going to troll oh. Phil. I'm going to say that I want my video featured. I'm then the when one. I feature, it's featured, I'm going to copyright strike him. It won't matter. It won't matter. So then why are you worrying about it, sir? You can't also say, I'm, this, I'm really worried about this fucking thing. But if it does happen, I'm not worried about it. So you can't do that. Because as we this, all... At, similar to, you can't say, I have a successful business. But if you don't pay me money today, I will have, be poor. I will be homeless. Thank you. All know now with YouTube. Thank you. Please. Copyright <laughs> system. Anyone who, who claims like that, if they actually want to claim the whole, they have to sue. They actually have to have, file a lawsuit in court in order to have a video shut down and have an official copyright strike actually take place against a, a channel permanently. So, do, am I really afraid that if I take a video from someone and they give me a false copyright strike that they're gonna file a lawsuit against me? So why are we Absolutely talking about not. it? At the why very are we talking worst, about it? What would happen is for two weeks, I'd have right. this false Thank copyright you. strike against me and I just have to that. dispute it and it would get cleared up. So, you know, now, he's, now Phil is trolling. It is what it is. I, I, I would hope, listen, with the improvements that I've made, with the change in attitude that I've had in the past couple of years, the maturing, the maturing that I have had, and the fact... Come on, man. The maturing that I have had? ...had in the past couple of years, the maturing, the maturing that I have had, and the, the maturing that I have had. The fact that I do understand a lot better how things are and you know that people who necessarily have trolled me aren't necessarily anti me they're just kind of making fun of me and how i've taken myself so seriously for a long time uh i would hope that i don't think there would be anyone who wants to get their video featured on ko gaming what who is, is actually a dick and who's trying to like do something man when we do like topics around the year 2017 like you always need an extra hour because there's always madness like this something always. like that underhanded 
okay? Um, I, I really don't think it would happen, but even if it did, it's not going to be a huge deal, okay? Okay, thank you. So anyway, um, yeah, so I've got right there, just in the pipeline, I've got potentially three new community submissions that may be coming up um, for this kind of new video on KO Gaming. Which is pretty cool. Okay. And by the way, I guess I should give an update. So, the very first ever This Is How You Don't Play. Okay, here we go. The one we just watched. The official approved one that I posted up. I posted it up Monday night. Um, as of today, so it's not even been up for three days yet. Has 8,500 views and growing. Whoa! That's pretty good. I'm going to be honest with everyone. I did not expect that at all. I actually thought maybe it would get 5,000 views. And that would be it. But apparently, people are watching it, and, or, I mean, I'm, I know a lot of people are watching it, oh, it sucks. But at the same time, there's a lot of people watching it and enjoying it. And that's kind of the idea. What? <laughs> you know, that's kind of <laughs> the point of the whole thing. To give exposure to someone who maybe didn't get that exposure with this video originally. To show that I am not above being made fun of, that I understand that, you know, if you're laughing with... He just said two seconds ago that he was taking himself too seriously. What the fuck are we doing here? Holy shit, man. With me instead of laughing at me. And you're, oh, yes. Yes, let's make fun of Phil, but we'll have it in a, in a way that doesn't degrade him to the point where people want to fucking burn him on a cross. Oh, yes. Then that's fun. And I'm I miss those This How You Don't plays of the crucifixion. I love those This How You Don't plays. Those are my favorite, actually. I think it was uh, Yoshi's Island where the crucifixion scene. I love that. With that. Uh-huh. All right. That's my favorite. So... We shall see. Yes. We shall see how things go. But I'm excited for the future, all right? Oh, you should When I be. have more concrete information for you, all right, um, I will let you know. But the bottom line is right now I don't really have anything concrete. I, like I said, I have one video I have to watch. I have not I didn't even looked at it yet. Um, and then, you know, when I get more information <laughs> from other people, because there were, actually, I take it back, there was another person. Oh, my God. I, I'm losing said, it already. I can't handle this, man. He's saying the same shit endlessly. They may be doing something in regards to For Honor. Okay. And then I had another person contact me. I'm going oh, crazy God, too early. Too soon. Was, I forget what they said. It's they already 115? What the fuck? All right, we got to move on. All right, next point. At least I'm, I'll do that. Okay. How did this happen? And I do have an update on that, on the KO Gaming um, submissions program for those who are interested. Um, for those who are interested, in, you know, you're like, wow, wow, it's been almost a week now. There hasn't been a new video. I wonder what's going on with that. I do wonder what's going on because the first week there was three videos and the second week there was zero videos. Does that seem like a smart idea? There are several people working on videos <laughs> who are, uh, you know, really, they want to get their stuff out there. They want to <laughs> share it. The, snor the snorts have torn the very fabric of time. <laughs> Oh, shit, I muted it. Oh, and I haven't even had a chance to look at it. I'm going to try to watch that tonight. And if it looks good, that's probably going to be the next entry into the submission series for yes. KO Gaming. Okay. okay? Uh, but I definitely want to get the For Honor review out first before I do anything else with KO Gaming. Then I'll worry about what's the next community submission. But you may see more coming out as early as this week. Okay. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the last thing I want to talk about no, is... Mr. Merchant, this is random people. This is all this is all community submissions. Uh, random people making shit for him. The upcoming schedule changes... Oh god, no schedule. Run away. It's from last month, so I'll do those. Okay. And... 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 Um, tonight, I'm going to be reviewing candidates for the KO Gaming Community Submissions Program. I actually got a few submissions uh, over the past few days and i've been so busy with work i have not had a chance to look at any of these submissions i got one that supposedly is around a 15 minute long montage and then there's one person who made a bunch of these previously but is interested in having them featured on ko gaming um uh his style of video and i haven't had a chance to look at his either and he has like three or four that were already ready to go so, <laughs> either, and he has like three or four that were already ready to go. Three, two, one. Pignition. That's clean gout crystal. We have gout. So, I have to review all that tonight. And, uh, you know, since I'll finally have some time. And I think this week I will probably have one, if not more, new submissions to the KO Gaming Community Creations program. Should be pretty neat. 
And I certainly hope that uh, <laughs> I agree. you'll give it a look over on YouTube.com forward slash KO Gaming 1. Okay? Um, so now, that's that's today. That's what you could expect today. Tomorrow, I'll return to Neo. Don't give a shit. <clears throat> then, if I was starting tonight, all right? <clears throat> Then, if I have some time, which I don't know if I'm going to, because it's already almost 9 p.m. here. All this dude talks about is not having time. It's amazing. <laughs> um, I was going to look at some of these videos that people have been submitting to me uh, for KO Gaming submissions. But I don't know if I'm going to have time tonight, so I might have to wait till tomorrow. But magically, Similarly, never has time. I possibly do Q&A videos for people who I owe for patron perks. I, I don't have time. I just don't have time tonight. I'm gonna have to cram it in, or not really cram it in, but do it next weekend. Hopefully, I'll have some more what time. Why you don't for have it, time? Okay? Tomorrow, Monday, the twentieth, Neo returns to stream. I right, don't give a shit. So he's still, he's still trying Neo. to find time to to look at shit. Um, I put a lot of work into the review. Oh, here we go. So I'm happy that it is getting you know attention. Uh, I have no idea if it will increase in attention, because here's the thing. Uh -oh. It all depends on YouTube search engine. If YouTube actually decides to have my For Honor review show up in YouTube search results, it'll probably get some views. That's exactly what happened last year. Ah, with so it's like rollback netcode. Yeah, yeah. A lot, few people know this. Let me explain it to you. Um, not a lot of people can wrap their head around this, but I can. Uh, rollback netcode and YouTube algorithm are very similar. Uh, basically, it's roll of dice. And... When they find something they like, they will push that through. So, for example, if you're playing a good player like Justin Wong, the dice usually comes up in his favor, so he'll win the matches. And, like, if you're PewDiePie, on the YouTube side of things, if you're, like, PewDiePie, he's got a huge one, Mr. Beast, the YouTube algorithm just always pushes them. Doesn't give a shit about video quality. Doesn't matter about that. Just push them out, right? Same thing with Rollback Netcode. Not a lot of people understand that, but they are connected in a very real way. With my home front the <laughs> Copes, I feel sick like he runs a multi-billion dollar company. <laughs> yes. Foil. John Cena. You can see him, though. Revolution review with my uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst review and with my two different videos about No Man's Sky. They uh -huh. actually showed up in YouTube search and therefore they actually got some viewership. Whoa. So if they show up, great. If they don't, not much I can do. All right? Yeah, it's just kind of... <laughs> Stuck in with uh, with the, the mass of crap that YouTube spews out there and everything gets lost in the shuffle. Yes, so except the good videos. I know there's some, you know, magic into the algorithm and stuff and not every great video gets picked up by the algorithm. I understand that as well. But just throwing your hands in the air and saying, Jesus, take the wheel is kind of not a very proactive business style approach, is it? So it is what it is. We'll see. I'm, I'm certainly pleased at least in one day with 9,000 views on the review. So thank you everyone for that. Uh -huh. Um, yes. <clears throat> in regards to KO Gaming and the rest of this week. Yes, please. I have good news and a little bit of minor bad news. Uh -oh. Let me get through the minor bad news first just to get it out of the way because I have good news I want to talk about, all right? Uh, it was exactly one week ago when I released the very first ever approved and official This Is How You Don't Play video on KO Gaming. Okay. It did really decent in views. It wasn't, like, super duper amazing. Um, you know, but at the same time, it did pretty good. Um, sadly, <clears throat> there's been kind of a Ooh, misunderstanding this? between myself and the person who created the video. There was a misunderstanding in terms. Let's put it that way. Ooh, it had nothing to do. Now you you had my you you had my interest, but now you have my curiosity. So there's a misunderstanding in terms. Dragon Slayer. I would like to hear that story. I'm sure that's probably an that's okay podcast, but we can't listen to that now, guys. Cannot. And the person who created the video, there was a misunderstanding in terms. Okay, Let's put in it terms. that way. It had nothing to do with the content of the video or anything like that. But behind the scenes, something happened where there was a misunderstanding in the terms of being able to put your video up on KO Gaming. And after several discussions with this individual, we came, came to an amicable agreement where we decided that I'm just going to basically make the video not available. That's what I'm thinking. Like, what else could it be, right? It has to be money, right? Because the terms are pretty cut and dry uh, on its surface, right? That you put the video here. You put the video on my, on my channel. I guess Dragon Slayer also had the video on his channel, though, I believe Phil said earlier. So, yeah, I'm really interested in that. All right. And so yeah, I, maybe he wanted two shout outs. I did. It's the video is now private. Hey, it's been up for a week anyway. I really don't think it's going to get much additional viewership anyway outside of that first week. So it is it is uh, not viewable anymore on the channel. Okay. 
Well, that's the bad news. Uh oh. But there's good news. The good news is that in the past week, I have had a flood of people contact me excited to become a part of the KO Gaming Community Submissions Program. Really? In fact, I have, uh, right now, I'm not even kidding, about f five or six videos to review, okay? The first one is uh, a, this is how you don't play of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, the game from, I forget if that was late 2012 or early 2013. I do forget when it actually officially uh, release. I really got to find that reason. I'll look it up, but I'm, we're not going to this. Uh, let me try to find the SOK podcast of that. And maybe I'll search the transcripts. All right, Dragon Slayer. Because I do want to see the reason for that. That's kind of interesting. I feel that's worth the look. But that being said, oh, <sighs> hello. Oh, God. Um, East. But that being said, Um, I he they, it's a, it's a, I believe it's almost a two hour long video of going through my entire playthrough, you know, similar to how really these this, this is how you don't play videos go. Um, so that was just submitted to me this morning. I have to you know go through it, see what I think about it, see if I like it, and or if I do like it, I have to you know do some editing, and I might that's gonna possibly do some be editing a KO gaming community submission. I just have to review it first. Do all some right? editing. Uh, in addition, uh -huh. someone submitted to me a. Very short. It was probably about 10 minutes long. Uh, kind of parody video and or funny montage of when I was playing Black Mesa and I couldn't figure out how to do the uh, crouch jump, crouch jumping. <clears throat> And that was, I mean, that was one of the things that infamously started people kind of making fun of me on YouTube because I couldn't figure out. Oh, shit. So I can't find the Dragon Slayer video of the SOK uh, podcast, but... They did have Das Bo shit on. I do not remember that. That's nine years ago now. That might be interesting. Lots of possible listens there. But anyways, not right now. Not different day. Different day. I had a crouch jump because I had never played Half Life One before. I didn't even know that the mechanic existed. Um. So that being said, that is also coming up. However, that submission unfortunately had a few issues. Like volume level wasn't uh, level. <laughs> it was like a pr pretty jarring volume Pull it adjustments together, and stuff that needed to happen. Um, and some suggestions I had to make it a little bit more digestible to my viewing audience. So I, I kind of went back to that person and said, listen, I really I like the video, but if you could do a couple tweaks, it would be a lot better for KO Gaming. All, All right. right. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, so that might be coming out as well. It depends on, you know, how quickly. All right. Thank you so much to everyone helping. I know I'm kind of being aloof here because I'm trying to find it. Cracker Jack is a legend. It is, uh, there is uh, the podcast with Dragon Slayer in the four year anniversary video. However, there's no transcripts and I'm not scrubbing it right now. Um, but definitely will be something there for you. And I see, I see the KOCC, the cock, the KO Gaming Community creation thing is all over these comments that was definitely a joke at the time seven years ago but we'll get to the bottom of it i promise just not today not enough time there is not enough time guys over Literally the years not has time. made this is how you don't play videos um of all basically all my old playthroughs they don't really do anything for the new stuff but they've done it for a lot of my older stuff like the playthroughs i used to do with the camera right but then every once in a while there's a dash of some of the new stuff that they work on too okay um so they've got a bunch, and they've been basically saying, here, I'm going to submit all these, and I'm like, all right, hold on. Oh, what so I need worrying. to do is I need to kind of skim through these videos that this person has made and find ones that I think would be a good first entry from this person, right? Let's take a video that's a first entry, take a look at it, see you know, if people like it, and if people like it, then I'll consider doing all the rest. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I have to go through those. So basically, I need to go through a bunch of freaking videos tonight. What I'm going to try to do tonight is... is <laughs> yeah, that's the hard part. Not making the videos, checking if they're good enough to put on your channel where you make money and they don't. Great. Theodore, the lore behind this is Philip had a KO gaming channel that was going down in views and he wanted to keep the views going. So he said, hey, make free shit for me and I'll put videos up. 
And this is the rea This is the result of that. Is go through and take t the second half of today to skim through all this stuff. And if I find something that I really like, you know, I'll edit it and I'll release it on KO Gaming as the next KO Gaming community submission. All right. Right. But Done I yet? need to go through it. I haven't had time really to sit down and review all these submissions no time. I've been getting. I, it's been overwhelming because I didn't, you know, I didn't know how it was going to go. And then all of a sudden, people were like, "No, we we like the fact that we can get our stuff <laughs> featured on your channel." And <laughs> you think he put up fifty videos on this fucking Ko Gaming Community Submission Program? Let me remind you, we've already seen almost half. We've seen four of nine. There are five videos left to be shown on this fucking channel. He acts like he is the it's starting of the Marvel Universe videos coming up. And you know, a lot of these people who make these videos, if you can believe it, and a lot of people probably won't believe this, but it's what? true. Uh oh. People who watch and make those videos a lot of the times are my biggest fans. <laughs> It's just that they think that it's funny to do these kind of videos and make fun of me and, and laugh at the funny parts of my playthroughs where I'm failing constantly, right? Right, right. Now, you're going to notice with these videos, they're not necessarily some of the nastiest ones either. You know, you're not going to see people going absolutely crazy, making up crazy slander statements about me and stuff like that, all right? <clears throat> <clears throat> so we'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, I'll review a lot of these tonight. I may or may not even be releasing one of these videos as a KO Gaming community submission tonight. We'll see. Uh, and we'll go from there. Okay? Okay. So we'll see. You know, play it by ear. Um, the rest of this week, like I said, Neo will be live streamed here. This week is either going to be me working on a KO Gaming community submission or possibly <laughs> playing some more Yakuza 0. And about halfway through this week, All I'm right. going to do I'm, a vlog. I'm scheduled the fuck out. All right. We are entering... Part three. Uh, part three starts with the next submission. A video is called DSP Plays. Uh, DSP Plays. Uh, Sniper Elite Abridged. Community submission. One hour and 13 minutes. Obviously, we're not watching the whole thing, but here we go. What is up, everyone? Phil here, and what, what is up, everyone? What is up, everyone? And there's the smack. Get ready for the smack. Here it comes. Listen carefully. I'll boost it for you. Boosted smack. What is up, everyone? <laughs> Phil here, and welcome back to KO Gaming for another community content submission. Hell yeah! This one comes from Burn, a YouTuber who's been making montage-style videos of my retro throwback playthroughs for quite some time on his own YouTube. Oh, Burn! This account has been terminated because we received multiple third-party claims of copyright infringement regarding material the user posted. Come on, Burn! You can't do this to us, Burn. Burn! Flew too close to the sun, Burn. YouTube channels. Now, if you're not a longtime viewer of mine, I need to forewarn you that before 2013, all the playthroughs I did from 2008 to 2012 were done with a digital camera Whoa. in front of my TV. Huh? I did not use direct capture. So I need to forewarn you when yeah. you're watching anything regarding my, an older game, these playthroughs look terrible. The colors are off. It's blurry. It's not sharp at all. Oh, and these look good for. They need to put these in HD. So you're going to see it's very low res. No, but I like these because they make me feel like. I'm in the room with you at the, on the couch next to you. Oh, that's why I like it's those. It's pretty cool that Burn has taken some of my older playthroughs and condensed them from eight to nine hour long runs down to roughly an hour so you can see the best moments. Yeah, so thank you. This Lender particular yes, one is going to be cool for long time viewers. This looks just as good. Who cares? I mean, this is good. ...who remember the playthrough, but obviously don't have a lot of time to go back and watch a... And sadly, this is when the viewership started dipping. This has 6,000 views. ...full nine hours again, and for to, newcomers to as well, this is going to be DSP Plays Sniper Elite V2, the abridged version. Oh. Now, why Sniper Elite V2? Yeah. Because the sequel, V4, was just recently released, and sadly, I've been caught up in so many other longer games like Neo that I haven't had a chance to play uh, it. So this is out. a cool retro throwback to an era pre-direct capture pre-live streaming for me i hope you enjoy the video here we go he was all he's our neo right. out well finally <laughs> forgive me why just the volume here um but we are finally beginning <laughs> the sniper elite v2 playthrough and uh some story behind this unfortunately i hate to, to admit it but it's a fiasco with this game this week and no one seems to understand what <laughs> happened with it but i hate to admit it what this game was scheduled to be released on may 1st 2012 by everyone's release date and then all of a sudden everyone went to their retail stores on tuesday of this week and they you hate to admit that such a dented way to say it i hate to admit it guys careful i don't want to say this all right i'm not watching this Hello? I still have to restart from a checkpoint. I don't know if it's working or not. It might not work. Maybe it's buggy. I mean, it is release week. 
I don't know if he's seeing he's trying to resume or what. I don't want to restart the whole level. I want to restart from the checkpoint. I guess he's not going to do it. I'm glad this was in the video. This is definitely good content. See, he returned to the lobby. All right, so that's the cooperative gameplay. Now I'm going to try out some of the other co-op modes. That was co-op campaign. Hmm. I'm glad this was in here. This is pretty cool. Four on two. This is so stupid. And this multiplayer is pointless and doesn't work. The matchmaking doesn't work. <laughs> Lost them. Real close there. Almost had him, though. Oh, man. This is good. This is awesome. Look at that. How am I supposed to shoot that guy? <laughs> get that. Get him. Get him. Get him. Come on. Hit him. Panicking, that's the best thing to do. Run around like a chicken with your head cut off. That's typical sniper tactic. I don't know if you guys knew that. If you're in danger, just run around like a chicken with your head cut off. Yeah, it's too laggy. You can't oh, do a... yes. Oh, yes. Of course. It is too laggy. Gaming game lag. So the dude teleporting across the fucking field. That wasn't the guy that killed you, sir. Please talk about the time you just got killed. How pointless is that? So basically the story of this game's multiplayer almost... Oh, uh, what? What's... What, what? What's the story? Oh, yes. This looks like it could hit him. shot like he has all the time in the world doesn't he look all right well this is not on that person so okay the door felt that one the door frame really took it though the door frame is probably dead i think you know the door frame got really fucked up in this exchange so that's at least he took care of the door Too laggy. Ah, uh, it's windy. Okay, windage. I'll take I'll take the L on that one then. Windage. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, here we go. Alright, so now, February 23rd, shit has hit the fan, my friends. And this is ultimately what spells doom for both KO Gaming and the submission project. But we heard, oh my god, I got so many submissions, I got 40,000 submissions. Can you believe it? I'm gonna be putting videos out f forever. But uh-oh, something happened, so we're gonna find out. Before I had to cancel the stream because of this leak in my kitchen. And then I'm off to the stream because of this leak in my kitchen. A leak in my kitchen. And yes. then I'm off to eat some stew that we made for dinner. It's slow cooking in the, in the kitchen right now. It's done in 45 minutes. And then tonight, I think I'm going to work on a new KO Gaming community creation submission. It's uh, This is how you don't play uh, Metal Gear Solid uh, Rising Revengeance. The one with the fucking right and slashing shit. That one. Boy, as long as I you know. That fucking game. And this video is a good one. So, all right. That's it, everyone. Thanks for watching. I'll have more for you soon, hopefully. Peace out. Thank you for your support. No, you won't. All right. Um, that was it. Let's hear a little. I think it talks a little bit about here. I'm going to do the review. Either work on the next KO Gaming Community submission, because I already have it. In fact, it's a This Is How You Don't Play style video, but it's not like the first one that was uploaded there last week. It's actually very different. This is one where they just take my raw gameplay, and they basically take the moments where I'm really sucking ass, and they're edited together. <laughs> sucking ass. And you're going to see some uh, comments from those videos on YouTube superimposed over uh, the gameplay, all right? Um, and I think that's pretty much all it is. There's no commentary. There's nothing like that. It's just basically the raw gameplay of Metal Gear Solid Rising Revengeance, a game that I was fucking shit at. I was so bad at but that. But is this malicious or what? Or was this like a roast? A game. So that's the next one for KO Gaming. Okay. All right. Um, I don't... All right. Well, let's watch that. We do have that. So let's watch this. How you don't play Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. This has 10,000 views. And this was the longest one ever, I believe. What is going on, everyone? Oh, nice smack. Or second longest one ever. What is going on? Why don't you edit that out? <laughs> what is going on, everyone? <laughs> Phil here, and welcome to another KO Gaming Community <laughs> Why Submission. Why don't you edit that out, This one sir? comes from Kai, and is called This Is How You Don't Play Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Yeah. Now, if you don't remember, about four years ago, Platinum Games made a spin-off game to the Metal Gear Solid series featuring Raiden as the main character. And unlike the stealthy combat of the main series, this one focused heavily on running around and having a oh, high-paced hand-to-hand -hand attacking thing. and slashing ninja-style combat featuring tons of high-profile 
style boss fights and cybernetic warfare. Oh, it was cybernetic a pretty good warfare. game, and ultimately it was well received by most people who played it. However, I freaking sucked at this game. Definitely. I never throughout, I think, the entirety of the playthrough ever mastered the controls. I never really even understood the slashing mechanics properly. I've watched about 10 to 15 minutes straight of this video and even I cringed at myself at how bad I was at this game. Right, right, I right. don't know what it was, but for whatever reason, it's probably there in the annals of history as one of the absolute worst playthroughs I've ever done on YouTube. And so this video is very warranted. Now, just to forewarn you, this is in the style of a more traditional plain vanilla. This is how you don't play video. Okay. Meaning it's basically just raw gameplay put together to highlight some of the worst parts of the game that I've sucked at at and really performed poorly. There's no memes or anything superimposed over it. It's just pure gameplay <laughs> for your viewing amusement. I also want to warn you. No memes though, guys. It's about two hours long because yeah, in the, about four boss fights that I sucked so hard at, it took me almost two hours to get Whoa! past them because I failed so badly. Okay. Yeah, prepare for cringing. That's yeah. pretty much exactly going to be your reaction to the following video. <laughs> Without further ado, it's This Is How You Don't Play Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. The hell is this? What oh is my this? god, this music! Oh my god! You gotta be fucking kidding me! Excuse me, sir? This is a classy music you're playing for. Can we hear you? Hello? Hello. Hello. That's a classic. Try again. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do to get out of here? Oh, look, there's nowhere to go. Going on, everyone. Dark okay, just random highlights of previous. This is how you don't play. All right, that wasn't bad, but that fucking audio is loud as shit. Phil here. We're starting up a new playthrough today. A okay. game that. Okay. Ah oh, shit. Big up, dead bears. That is meaningful. Very meaningful, sir. This is audio. Holy shit. No, I did it perfectly. No, you didn't. Okay, whatever you say, Konami. Or platinum games, whoever dreamed of this stupid fucking boss fight, it doesn't work. Hello? Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Alright, let's go to the ending. Almost got a beat. I'd be a dick, I'd be like squeezing his heart, making him fucking like tremble and shit. Uh oh, Philip. <laughs> I don't rage kid just hit on me. I don't rage too. Alrighty. <laughs> I don't rage kid just hit on me. I don't rage too. Alright. An underage kid just hit on me, but I'm underage too. Alrighty, that's gonna be it for This is Alrighty. How You Don't Play Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, everyone. I want to give a special <laughs> thanks and shout out to Kai for submitting his video to the program. He doesn't have a YouTube channel he wanted to promote, but he said you can check him out on Twitter at Kai. Kai shot first. Well, I will do that. Kai shot first. Uh, yes. No, no, no. I want to go to the site. I want to go to the site. Go to the site, please. Kai shot first. Ah, uh, Kai shot first. Philip outlasted another one. I shot first. Now, if you're interested in submitting your own video to the Community Submissions Program, please email me at darksidephil at hotmail.com or send me a PM on thekingofhate.com. I remember to look carefully at that playthrough spelling. Your idea is, and we could talk a little bit about that. All right, if you like the video, please consider liking it here on YouTube. And of course, if you're not already, please consider subscribing here to KO Gaming so you don't miss any upcoming community submission videos like this in the future. All right. As well as. Is there any good stuff in the description? My highly edited game reviews, countdowns, first impressions videos, and the like. Also, check out the video description for a loot crate. There we go. Thanks for watching. Check he wrote a whole other thing again. This dude is insane. All right, check the video description for a link to my raw playthrough of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance plus a loot crate discount code and my Patreon. <laughs> he writes a new one every time. 
Like, it's not bad, but it's just a waste of time. Discount code. And if you really like what I'm doing here on KO Gaming, you can go the extra mile by pledging to my Patreon. Oh, I, okay. Thanks I, a lot, I everyone, for watching. And I'll see you next time for another community submission right here on KO Gaming. Will do. Will do. Will do. <laughs> Big ups, big ups to Wesley says so he can watch his own gameplay and see it's bad, but he continues to not watch back his gameplay to this day. I think he deserves this life. Well, now let's see. Now he's trying to make a change with DSP throwback. Come on. He's watching his old shit. And now he just laughs at it ridiculously, but says it was racist that no, sorry, it wasn't racist. Everyone was talking like that. It was the Wild West. Remember, that's the new plan. Copeside Phil in the house says, take a seat right there, sir. <laughs> yeah. Have a little seat over there, sir. <laughs> Okay, next, part five. We have got... The, uh oh uh oh You want to see me go back to Zelda? Do you want to see me do Nier today? So it's going to be going back and forth, probably, I'm thinking, between these two games during the course of this week. My streams will be going back and forth, back and forth. Come on. Back and forth, back Later and this forth. week, a review. During the course of this week, my streams will be going back and forth, back, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth. Nighttime. We're finally in March. So that whole thing was in February. We just watched all those shit I just played you happened all in the same month. Now we're in February, but the but the end comes quick, all right? So don't worry. We're not the, we're not stuck here for too much longer. I'll be finishing Horizon. I will may or may not be editing a new video, a new a fan submitted video for KO Gaming. You don't edit those, uh, sir. Because I actually have, I believe, one... I have one person who submitted a bunch, so I could do one of those. I got another a, a new one from a, another person. There's two right there. I'm trying to think. I think I have two to three actually videos that I could use. What's that? He just pu he pulled something out of his mind. Watch. There's two right there. I'm trying to think. I think I have. All two. right, he's getting the thought. And he's gonna pull it out like in Harry Potter, that memory thing. Watch. Here he's gonna pull it out. Two to three. Got it. Actually, videos that I could <laughs> use if I remember correctly. <laughs> So I have a bunch that I, that I could use as fan submissions for KO Gaming. We'll see. If I have time to do that one night this week, I'll edit it and I'll release that on KO Gaming to supplement everything else going on. All right? So, yeah, that's the deal for all this Depensive, week. That's Near the it. end Depensive. of this week, sadly, that's at I was one point, of. I will have to stop what I'm doing to do this partnership transition. I'll obviously keep everyone in the loop on what's going uh, on. Partnership transition time. So this was a very, uh, you know, very dangerous time for Philip. This is when he had to change partnerships from Machinima to, I believe this is when that Laveria thing happened. And then he ended up being his own person, but he had to put his gameplay on DSP, uh, on KO Gaming. We're in that time. So he's working out. He's, he's worried a lot here. Oh, great. Look at this fan art. Beautiful, dude. Love this. Love this. Near Automata, tomorrow night, uh, depending on how things go, I may be working on a new KO Gaming community submission. That could be fun. And then after that, I'll start no, working on my review. Be. Next. Um, welcome to the stream. Four hours and more. I'll be working on a new a KO Gaming Community Submission video. Um, I've had a bunch of these kind of queued up and ready to go for a while, and I haven't m worked on any of them yet because I've been so busy. But I'm going to do one for you tonight. So we'll have a new community submission later tonight on KO Gaming. I hope you'll check that out. <laughs> <laughs> For those who are on a mission later tonight on KO Game. Stand by for stand by for snort. Yeah. Lift off. In three, two, one. Pignition. Yep. Clean gout crystal. We have gout. For those who aren't aware, that's at youtube.com forward slash KO Gaming 1. Okay. <laughs> um. But I have two big positive updates to share with everyone. Oh, yes, please. All right, so you ready? Yeah. For the good news, here it comes. What is it? First of all, um, Teespring. All uh, right, no, no, no. I don't give a shit about Teespring. All right, next. What's going on, everyone? Phil here and Will. Oh, yeah, here's the next, the next uh, submission. DSP plays Battlefield Bad Company abridged. What is going on, everyone? Phil here, and welcome back to KO Gaming for another abridged montage of a classic retro playthrough of mine. This one is again made by YouTuber Burn and features Battlefield Bad Company 2. Oh, a game he did such a great job with that sniper one. This one has 6,000 views. Game that, yes, once again, was recorded solely with a camera pointed at my television long before the days of direct capture. Therefore, please be aware that the video quality is going to be fuzzy. However, I think the video is still entertaining and funny as hell. So without further ado, please enjoy. Oh, do we get a lip smack? I missed it. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> he can't resist. What 
is going on, everyone? <laughs> Everyone, Phil here, and welcome back to KO Gaming for another abridged montage of a classic retro playthrough of mine. This one is again made by YouTuber Burn. Look at, look and at this comment. And Phil, leave the community creations to the Kojima crew. So much hilarious raging. I miss the old DSP. Phil, I wish you just retook some footage with direct capture to ensure consistency for this series. 90 minutes too long. All right, well, so some negative comments, but let's move on positively. Near continuing and the, the beginning of Danganronpa. Um, if I have a Danganronpa. chance later this week, maybe I'll do another KO Gaming Community submission video. But for, for now, really, I want to focus on the gameplay, being that I know that next week... I right, he's to, working on his next submission, nothing not there. Not much to put on KO Gaming right now. There's oh, I wonder why. KO Gaming right now. There's no reviews to put out. Um... I can't even do a first impressions video or any kind of an impressions video on uh, Zelda because Nintendo is going to end up claiming it. So there's no point in even doing it. Uh, you could you could uh, help your viewers understand your thoughts on the game, sir. That's very possible, too. You know, I think your, viewer, your viewers might be interested in your thoughts, even if you don't make any money from it. But Video on uh, Zelda because Nintendo is going to end up claiming it. Ah. So there's no point in even doing it. Uh, no there's point in even doing it. Ah why I haven't done it and you're not going to see you're pretty much not going to see a formal review of Breath of the Wild because I can't make a video on it because Nintendo's going to claim it ah okay so that sucks but it is what it is that's why there's been really nothing going on with KO Gaming recently alright uh, once we start getting into these new releases like Mass Effect Andromeda I might do a first impressions video of no the reason there's nothing going on in KO Gaming is because you blasted out so far six videos in less than a month and then I'll probably release oh, excuse me, community submission videos. Other in addition to his own reviews. He had so much stuff. If he just timed this out. Mission, you know, that kind of stuff. We will get back to consistent stuff. Um, this is how you kill a channel, really, you, you know? know? There's not much to put on KO Gaming right now. There's no I'll reviews back, to sorry. put out and stuff um, on KO Gaming. But... There just hasn't been... I've been so busy with the new coverage of all the new games and everything. So there busy. hasn't been really uh -huh. time to focus on it. And I couldn't do anything for Zelda. That's how a channel dies, you know? It just... You blast everything out. So people are like, oh shit, man. This guy releases some content. And then he goes weeks without anything. And then you're wondering what happened. Pretty lame, right? If you schedule this <laughs> once, twice a month, you'd still be ha you'd be rolling right now. Not rolling, but you'd be rolling with content, I should say. I agree. It's lame. It really is lame. Oh, definitely. So, Kale Gaming is far from dead. <laughs> okay. Not far, far from dead. Not far from but it. There's really nothing to put up there right now. I mm. will be putting stuff up soon with all these new releases coming out. I thought you, you know? had so many videos on the, on, the, on the back burner ready to release. Remember? There was like a, a lot of people are sending videos. Keep in mind Mass Effect Andromeda, this uh, DLC for uh, Dark Souls next week, right? There's going to be stuff for me to start putting up stuff on KO Gaming for shortly, but we have to get to it first, got okay? It. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, sorry about that. All right. Um, <laughs> that was a one-sided. Patreon. Patreon.com. Patreon. Maybe mid to late April. Then I'll consider playing MLB, but I have to start focusing in on the stuff I'm playing now rather than get inundated and caught up in other stuff, and then I never finish anything. Never okay. finish anything anything okay now the one other thing that i want to mention before we wrap this up yeah if you didn't notice ko gaming has been dead again yeah, yeah what's going I know. on ko gaming i was really putting in an honest effort to have videos come out every week at least on the channel no I, you released three in one week i was balancing it between first impressions videos and game reviews and then i moved on to say the the fan submissions with things like that this is how you don't play videos or the fan montages and the bottom line is i have more of those like i actually have two or three more montages i could put up there and i also have um, you know, I could have done more stuff. The Prada line is, though, if you look at what I'm doing, what was I'm that? Putting, playing so many games and putting Hold out. On, so does that count? The Prada line? Done more stuff. The Prada line is, though, if you look The Prada line. Big ups to Prada line. And I also have, um, you know, I could have done more stuff. The Prada line is, Prada though, line. if you look at what I'm doing. I'm and that's the Prada line. <laughs> putting, playing so many games and putting out so much gameplay, I don't have time to work on KO Gaming. Take a look. It's between... This the episode has been the I don't have time episode. I mean, that's the legit name for it. Past few weeks, the Zelda. Playing right? a video game on the normal scheduled time. You always play video games. Okay, next one. 
near Automata, which everyone... Another game you play during your normally scheduled gaming times. Next one? Wanted to see. Then Danganronpa started... Another game you play during your gaming times that never changed. Okay. Now Mass Effect the Andromeda. Another video game you play during your, your scheduled times. Uh, now we're talking Dark Souls and The Walking Dead. Next week's gonna be... Funny thing about the game is they don't actually add time to your schedule since you stick to that schedule religiously, sir. There's no time. There's just literally no time. If I could rip myself apart... More games being released doesn't affect how much you play games, actually. That's kind of the crazy part. Like an amoeba and, and do osmosis and clone myself. I would have one guy doing edited stuff all the time for KO Gaming. One guy would be right here on stream to do stuff. Or ah. right here, you know, on the couch to do stuff on stream and gameplay and stuff. Yep. And then I have one person Turned doing vlogs full time, probably. So there'd be three of me all doing things for different channels and stuff. But sadly, it's just not viable. I, I can't. I have to yes. focus in. And there are hundreds of YouTubers that do that with one person. But yeah, let's say <laughs> how hard it is, though. Why? And right now, it seems the demand people are saying is, yeah, it's nice that when you do a game review, you do a game review. But we want to see you play these fun games on stream and more attractivity on stream. Yes. And that way, I can be more profitable and keep paying my bills and not necessarily worry on, oh, let's stop and drop everything for four or five hours at a time to do a first impressions video that's going to get three four thousand views and basically fizzle out you know i heard what that I mean? from a lot of people too a lot of fans did say that exact thing just to repeat what the, a lot of fans are saying uh this is what they were saying um <laughs> this is what he said his fans are saying ready so uh, people are saying, I have to focus on what people want. Right now, I see if the dem demand is, people are saying, yeah, it'd be nice if when you do game reviews, you do a game review, that's cool, but we wanted you to play these fun games on stream and work to act actively, uh, play on stream, and that way I can be more profitable and keep play paying my bills. That's what a lot of people said. So that's pretty cool. The other thing is, oh, for example, Zelda, I can't even do any videos on Zelda. Why not? I can't. Because if I do first impressions or review, anything with gameplay in, of Zelda gets claimed by Nintendo. So there's no way I'm going to spend hours of my time editing a video on Zelda when it's, it's going to get claimed. I'm going to make no money on it at all. It's a waste uh, of can't time. Do that, huh? So if anything, maybe what I could do is a quick spoken word like this, a vlog, spoken word vlog about I'll do Zelda. spoken word. And put that up on KO Gaming eventually as like a semi-review. But I can't actually do a full review with gameplay or anything in it because Nintendo is basically a fucking piece of shit company that claims oh. everything from their gamers because they're greedy motherfuckers yes. who don't understand internet culture and don't understand their own customer base. Yes. They literally live in ivory towers isolated from the world and they think they know better than everyone yes, else. I love which is that. why their company is having so many fucking problems. I've been to the Nintendo headquarters and they do have that. It's very ivory tower. It looks like Minas Tirith with different white towers and every every executive has a different part of the tower. It's pretty cool. Again with this salt, Actually. salt, salt flavor. Oh. So, and that's not an exaggeration or an opinion. That's still God's honest truth. That's uh -huh. what's been going on with Nintendo. Why yeah. else would they claim everyone's ad revenue on every Nintendo video ever yes. put on YouTube? They're idiots. Yes. Um, they are definitely idiots. So. Moving on. And. Now we're going to, now we jump forward to May. Okay, so big, d d big, big, uh, would have made a big lapse of time here now we're already in may okay so that was march the end of march and now we go to may all right if i have a private video i need to make and <laughs> if i have time which i'm hoping i will i have three different submissions now um of videos for ko gaming some personal stuff i'm going to be taking care of it's persona 5 but okay oh, working on some patron stuff i will i have three different submissions now um, of videos for KO Gaming. Video submissions where it's montages of some really fun stuff. It's one person went through my first Dark Souls run ever and did a montage. One person actually did a montage of gameplay from the past, like, two months uh, as, like, a best of DSP Gaming montage. And then one person uh, actually did a uh, montage of my Metroid Prime playthrough. Okay? okay. So I have all these videos lined up, fan submissions for KO Gaming. I've just been so busy streaming, I haven't had the time to even edit them and release them. So right, I'm hoping right, I have right. an hour or two Sunday night where I can edit those videos and possibly start releasing them on KO Gaming over the course of the week. Mm -hmm. Okay? Oh, and by the way, Keycon3 just said, I'm submitting my Outlast video tonight. I just finished cutting it. Wow. So we're going to have an Outlast 2. Sorry, brother. That would not make the cut. <laughs> That would make the cut, brother. Montage. See what too, I mean? You suck too much on that review, brother. We've got a bunch of these montages lined up, and I have that cock submission didn't hit the didn't hit the channel. I had a chance to do anything with them, so I'm hoping to do something with them maybe Sunday night. Okay. Okay, that would never happen, actually. Okay, let's keep moving forward positively.
character uh, in online multiplayer. I got a bunch more matches with him, and those were some really good matches coming up, okay? Um, matches with him, and those were some really good matches coming up, okay? Um, so, yeah, so those are going to be tomorrow, all right? Um, tonight... I'm filming the week of preview. Obviously, I'm going to release it right after I finish filming it here. Uh, then I have one private Q&A video to make from a patron from last month. I owe Q&A video. So <laughs> oh, don't you miss the patron points? We used to get those all the time, the Patreon points. I have one private Q&A video to make from a patron from last <laughs> month. I owe Q&A video, so I'll be making that and releasing that. And then I'm going to be editing for the first time in a long time yes. fan submissions for KO Gaming. If you're it's not been aware... more than three months since you last put up a video of this, of this style. I have this uh, program where you... Oh, Chu, Chu is watching Attack on Titan videos. Hang on. And submissions for KO to all kinds of videos. <laughs> Negative, like this is how you better like, have this uh, program where you can submit uh, videos to KO Gaming. Uh -huh. And it's called the KO Gaming Community Creations Program. Yes. Um, And it's all kinds of videos. We've had videos that are like more of the best moments or the funniest moments. We've had videos that were like negative, like this is how you don't play, kind of just sticking fun at me. Sticking uh, fun at me. We just had plain, plain montages of just all kinds of stuff. It's been pretty good. But as you haven't noticed, yeah, what happened? KO Gaming's been pretty dead recently. And that yeah. was because of earlier this month, all the contact track negotiations and everything I was going through. And, and that, I, then after that, I was stuck doing multiple streams because I had so many games going on at once. Tonight, I'm finally going to take the time to at least edit one or two of these community su submission videos. And yes, this week on KO Gaming, you will see these videos released, okay? In addition to a re upcoming review of Injustice 2, which I'll talk about in a moment, all right? So this week for KO Gaming in particular is going to be great. You're going to have one to two community videos and a review. So lots of stuff going on over on my KO Gaming channel. I hope you'll give that a look. Uh -huh. But that's what I'm working on tonight. Uh, so just, just for context, uh, he's, he talked about the Metroid one or whatever. He says there's going to be a lot of vid stuff coming out on KO Gaming. We are nine days away from the last video that would come out on KO Gaming until the emergency, oh shit, I need to put my gameplay on KO Gaming because I got demonetized on DSP Gaming. We are nine days away from that happening. All right, fair enough. Tomorrow, Monday, I'm returning. Uh, next up is the best of early 2017 featuring Neo Montage. This was the second to last ever Cox submission. What is going on, everyone? Phil here. Hey, Smack. What is going nope, on, no everyone? Smack. Phil here, and welcome to KO Gaming for the first fan submission in quite some time. Yes. Today's submission comes from viewer Pascal, who worked on a montage primarily of my original Neo playthrough from back over the month of February, but also would include some pretty funny and interesting moments from some other games that I've played over the earlier months of 2017. In particular, be sure to check out the YouTube channel of the person who made the music for this montage, because I have to give him a plug at the end of the video in order to be able to use it so please take a look at the description oh of the my god dude can't you just give him a plug now we have to wait to the end of the video i have to give him a plug at the end of the video and channel he laughs of the about person it. who made the music for this montage because i have to give him a plug at the end of the video in order to be able to use it so please take a look at the description you could just say it right now you know of the video for a link to their YouTube channel. I believe their name is Edson Beats. Without further ado, all right, we got at least he got the name cut out out. Let's take a look at the best. I believe his name is Edson Beats. All right, guys, big up. So I got a spot. I got a quick spot here. Thanks to uh, oh, let's make up something. Thanks to a Teespring for sponsoring this stream. Um, uh, I think oh yeah, I, I, I fucked it up already. Hold on. All right, guys, uh, thanks so much for the sponsor of this stream. I think it's uh, something spring. Uh, I, I, Box spring? I don't know. Something. something. Anyways, uh, I got to shout him out at the end of the video or I can't make this video. So thanks so much, everybody. Check out the end of the stream for the sponsor. I forget what it's called. T Teespring, maybe? Early okay. End of the video. Thanks. Teen Neo and <laughs> other games montage. <laughs> <laughs> Big ups, Rodrigo. Says, preface this video with still not direct capture, guys. That isn't the reason people hate you, Piggy. There's channels right now that points a camera at their TV. Uh -huh, but he has to... He has to get ahead of the the, the uh, criticism. That's a uh, he has to get ahead of it. So if he talks about it before the stream, you can't make fun of it in his mind. Well, that was pretty crazy. I'm not watching this. Go to the end. A uh, shout outs to this is by the way. This is who who edited this one? Did he say? There's no oh Pascal. Big ups Pascal. 
Garage. And of course, again, a shout out to Edson Beats for giving permission to use that music in the video. Check out the description of this video for a link to his YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, please consider giving it a like here on YouTube. Please consider subscribing. To <laughs> All right, I've heard of some, a lot of descriptions of fun stuff, but I've never heard this. All right, here's some fun stuff. Here's the list of fun stuff. Links to my Teespring store and Patreon. Right. Thank you for re-upping your membership. I oh, now that's that. some fun stuff. Let me tell you, that's some seriously fun stuff. <laughs> Big ups, more KO Gaming for other fan submission <laughs> montages in the future. And also, please check out the description of the video for links to fun things such as my Teespring store and my Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on KO Gaming. Big ups. All right, let's see. Let's see this Ed's beats. Does he have songs? All right, last time he... Oh, he's still making beats. Last time he made a song was one year ago. So big ups to him. Still keeping the dream alive. Uh, did he ever do a DSP thing? No, he did not. But big ups to Edson Beats for letting that music be played, brother. Good luck. All right, next up. Are you ready? Not that one. Or did you watch that one? Next up. May 28th. May 28th, okay? So we're getting very close to... Uh, Six feet under for, for KO Gaming. Thing and Black Canary, and they were just rushing me down and doing mix-ups, and I was like, wow, this is really, this is what I want. You know, this is what I wanted to see. Get a session of gameplay where not only can I play well, but also I'm going up against some pretty stiff competition and seeing oh, some of the more high-level stuff stiff that can during be done it in too. the game. That's pretty cool. Okay. Why is this in so here? that's going to be going live tomorrow. Uh-huh. On DSP Gaming. All right. Uh, Monday night, I will not be live streaming. What I've decided okay, to do go. Monday night is a couple things. Number one, I have a bunch of errands and stuff I have to run around the house here that I'm a little backed up on, including I have a stack of bills to pay. You know, beginning of the new month, time to, to empty my bank account yet again. <laughs> so uh, I got to do that. But also, I'm really, really backed up in regards to the stuff on KO Gaming. Yes, you are. Like right now, no lie. I have three or more video submissions. We are two days away from the last video that will be put on KO Gaming until the emergency vlogs. I have a Metroid Prime uh, best of montage. I have a best of my original Dark Souls run montage. And I also have a best of my Outlast 2 playthrough. Uh -huh. All these montages were fan submitted, but I haven't had a single chance to work on these to get uh -huh. them released for KO Gaming. Definitely. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry. So that's what I'm going to focus on. Um... Tomorrow night, I'm going to work on that. So there'll be no stream tomorrow night. It'll just be one stream, Persona 5, and then later in that day, you know, I'll be working on those videos for KO Gaming. Okay? Um, Tuesday, it's the premiere of Star Trek Bridge Crew for the PSVR. All right, we so inch closer to ending. Hours of gameplay here on the stream. And later tonight, uh, I will not be uh, uh, streaming a second stream. Why not? All right, I will instead be working on... Uh, the uh, editing of videos for KO Gaming. I have three <laughs> different fans. This is so funny. I know I'm spoiling it, but we are... The next day is the last video that will ever be put on KO Gaming for over three months, and the one that is the one that comes back is the uh, shit's hitting the fan. I need help. So all this work that he's talking about here, there's one more video to be released on this channel, so I'm not sure how much work he's putting into it, but there is one more video that will be released on KO Gaming. And submissions now, uh, which I need to, to work on, edit, and release. Um, and I just simply put, have not had... So there's three... He said, he said there's three... Three cocks that we need to edit. Only one of those would see the light of day. The uh, editing of videos for KO Gaming. Uh -huh. I have three different fan submissions now, uh, which I need to, to work on, edit, and release. Um, and I just simply put, have not had a chance to work on these uh, recently. In fact, two of the videos are so long that they're going to take like an hour or more to edit just to encode them. So, uh, <laughs> uh, sir, encoding is not editing. Thank you. Encoding is pushing a button. You actually don't have to uh, do anything when you do that. Computers usually do the encoding, sir. Long that they're going to take like an hour or more to edit just to encode them. So um, sir. <laughs> You don't do the encoding, actually. You're not at, you don't have to work the transistors yourself. Usually the computer takes care of that. You push a button, and then you can go do other stuff. So, 
I definitely needed the time to mess around with that and to uh, you know to, to to work with it. And tonight will be the night when I will hopefully be able to do that. All right. Yes, to babysit the encoding. <laughs> so today's Persona Five, ladies and gentlemen. As I said on social media, as I said in the weekend preview, and as I said everywhere. Where people are getting this weird impression What's weird that impression? I'm playing Friday the 13th today, I have no idea. I guess people just don't listen. I don't really know what else to say about that. Yeah, what's going uh, on? I've been saying... Oh, I'm we're not listening to that shit. I don't care about this. All right, so uh, this is the final submission ever of the cock program. This is how you don't play Metroid Prime. So let's listen to the beginning of that at least to hear the last ever cock submission. Do we get... Do we get a... Here, here, very important poll. Smack. You know what I mean by smack. Do we get a smack? Yes or no? Get your bets in now, all right? Get them in. Do we get a smack? The final ever KO Gaming community submission. The final, in fact, this is the final ev ever edited style video to be placed on KO Gaming in the history of this channel. We are watching history here. Will we get a smack in the final edited style video of KO Gaming ever? Here we go. I'm going to push the button here. Here we go. Strap in. Here we go. What is going on? No, everyone? there was no smack. The last two videos, he learned not to do the smack. This time he does the sigh, the breathe in. What is going on everyone, Phil here, and welcome back to KO Gaming for another Community Submission video. This one is another submission back to KO Gaming for another Community Submission video. This Dude, he says submission. One, Phil here, and welcome back to KO Gaming for another Community Submission video. Community Submission. It's an edited video. Just say it. Just record it again. This one is a here, and welcome back to KO Gaming for another Community... <laughs> We got movie sign, massive bomb coming in hot. Shout outs to all the people that got them. It's a huge bomb. Big ups, dude. Thank you. That's very meaningful. The submission video. Everyone, Phil here, and welcome back to KO Gaming for another community submission video. Submission. This one is another submission from Sky Sands 2008, who previously made the best of the Dark Souls Redemption Run video. This time around, he's taking on my Metroid Prime Run from the mid 2015 summer playthrough. Now, at the time, I had never played a Metroid Prime game before at all. There was this. Dude, is he drunk? Metroid Pry game. Summer playthrough. Now, at the time, I had never played a Metroid Pry game before at all. There was this collection right. that had been actually released for the Wii U, and I said, "Gee, maybe yes, I Aaron. should check Correct. it out." Unfortunately, being that number one, I had never played the Prime series at all, and number two, the fact that this game utilized a lot of motion controls, it wasn't exactly the best and or uh, most educated and expert level playthroughs that I've ever done, leading to a lot of flubs, mistakes, and frustration with the controls. That See, even on like this, how you don't plays that are on his channel he has to fucking he has to qualify them all guys all right my you don't have to be fuck up here but i never played this before keep that in your mind he did the same thing for the fucking metal gear one let me tell you why i sucked you know now you're gonna see me suck here but here's why okay of course turned into hilarity for the viewers so without further ado it's the best of the metroid prime playthrough actually you entitle it this is how you don't play metroid prime but either one is fine i guess so without further ado, it's the best of the Metroid Prime <laughs> playthrough. I thought it was a joke for halfway, but it's real. He just said this is the best of the Metroid Prime playthrough. On the title is, this is how you don't play Metroid Prime. So which is it? Hello? You can hear the clicking. Listen, you can hear the clicking. Playthrough. You hear the two clicks? <laughs> this is not a big deal, but it's just funny. It speaks to the laziness. There's two clicks. Listen, there's two clicks. Metroid Prime playthrough. <laughs> there's definitely two clicks. <laughs> there's two clicks. Oh, all right, we're not watching it. like the final literally wasn't in the game. Is there a new game or something? Because what we just saw literally wasn't in the game. 
That intro portion, was, like that, was, that was supposed to be like the final boss, but it didn't look like the final boss. It had legs, <laughs> and then it showed you doing the grapple shit or the the magnetic ball stuff on something that you don't do in the actual game. I don't know what that was. What? You know what that was? Maybe okay, this is the trilogy. What are you talking about? Yeah, this is Metroid Prime trilogy. So maybe that was showing you stuff from the. But uh, 2015, that doesn't fly anymore. You know, no one will put up with infinitely spawning enemies, or at least if they're gonna respawn, give you a, a little anymore. You know, oh, no I like this guy, Sans, adding some con some context no that all you do find in the side you don't play. They resp the enemies respawn, so you don't win any mission, dumb fuck. Infinitely spawning enemies, or at least if they're gonna respawn, give you a, a little bit of leeway so you can figure this stuff out before the enemies show up again. Uh, some of the incredibly cryptic stuff like the backtracking. Now let's face it, in Metroidvania games, it's always been a part. Massive backtracking. But for a modern... Yeah, how's that cryptic then, sir? Modern game, most people probably say, eh, I don't want to have to backtrack to the same area a million times. So is that cryptic? You described it as cryptic. Seems like everyone knows it's happening and everyone expects it. I would it. consider going back and playing, you know, 2 and 3 of the Metroid Prime trilogy. As of now, I have no interest, but I may have interest in the future depending on circumstances. So thank you very much for those of you who are uh, through Montage. Well, that's it for oh. the best of... All right, smack enjoyers, you got a second one. You got it in the second half. The first half was a little dicey, but you got one in the end. Well, Hell that's yeah. it for the best of my Metroid Prime playthrough montage. You got I hope there. that you enjoyed got it. There, Smack, Again, guys. special shout out to Sky Sands 2008 for making this montage and putting it together for us. Be sure to check out his YouTube channel. I've actually put a link in the description of this video. He does a lot of Dark Souls and From Software related playthroughs if you want to give a we look. We already checked that channel. Thanks out. a lot for watching, everyone. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a look. What are we going to do? Okay, so they're not. Is it fun anymore? Also, check the video description for links to my Teespring store and Patreon. Well, it was fun. It was fun before. What happened? Oh shit! His guy says was interviewed by Sunset Kojima too. All right, I'll do that. I gotta listen to those podcasts then. Some point, not today. But the, it's not fun anymore. The links to the Teespring store and Patreon, they lost their fun. A like right here on YouTube, as well as subscribing to KO Gaming for future community submissions. Also, check out the video description for some fun links like my Teespring. Oh, there are aud audibly they are fun, but in text form, they're not fun. Future community submissions. Also, check out the video description for some fun links like my Teespring fun store links, and my Hell Patreon. Yeah. Thank you once again for watching. I will see you next time right here on KO Gaming. Peace out. You will not see him back on KO Gaming because, my friends, we have just seen every single cock submission there was. And I will show you the channel here so we can get a good look at it together. Uh, let me make it a bit... I'm going to make it a bit short here so you can see all the videos just so we get a full context here. So I'm going to take us back in time, past all this bullshit that gets 100 views, and to the time of the glory years of the cock submission program. Uh, and the glory years of the Cox Submission Program was 2017, and it was literally two months. <laughs> uh, probably, uh, I gotta finish soon, but the music will start after I finish here. So, the the Cox Submission Program is ending very shortly, and then we'll have music until that being said starts. Uh, so, let's go through the entire history of Cox real quick. Um, so, Cox first starts here. The best of Dark Souls Redemption run, right here, at seven years ago. Uh, then we get the Resident Evil 1, this is the very same week. Then we had the Prepare to Die, the very same week. Hubukaki 3 out in the same week. <laughs> and uh, then we got the the Sniper into the Metal Gear Rising. Uh, then we got the DSP Plays Battlefield Back Company 2 abridged. Then we got the Neo montage here. Then we got, this is how you don't play Metroid Prime, and that was it. That was completely it. And as you can see, this video uh, is the last one until many months later, three or four or five months later, we get this alert, I'm back, huge changes to KO Gaming. And then it's all emergency, 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 emergency. <laughs> <laughs> what a glorful, beautiful time to be alive, those uh, emergencies right there. Uh, but there we go. Hope you had a fun time. There is one final thing I want to show you, because we can't, uh, we can't leave out any context. So uh, this is the first couple minutes only we're going to watch of this. Hey, what is up, everyone? Um... And this is that alert, the, the uh, emergency video that came after the cock program was in its twilight. Hello. I am Phil, <laughs> the owner and content <laughs> I love this. creator of KO Gaming here. Who on are you talking to, brother?
YouTube, and this is the first time I'm actually ever appearing face to face with you in a video. As you know, all the videos that have been on here since the channel opened in early 2016 have been edited style, where it's me doing voiceovers over gameplay footage or whatever. Um, <laughs> when the cock went due limp. To <laughs> that's the uh, that's the documentary name. When the cock went limp. <laughs> Several factors, which we're about to discuss, I'm about to reveal to you. Sadly, KO Gaming is going to change dramatically from its original idea and concept. Um, pretty much against my will. I don't want to make these changes. These are changes that I never foresaw I would have to make. Uh -huh. Sadly, these are things that are all a result of YouTube. Uh -huh. um, basically instituting new policies in 2017 that, in my opinion, are incredibly anti-content uh, creator. Uh, I don't honestly think that these policies benefit anyone because any <laughs> Joe Dubb and Steve of the Dead right on the same wavelength, pulling out the cock. Anytime that you have something that's 100% dictated by an automated system <laughs> or algorithm and the there's cock. no subjective look or judgment based on anything going on, you're going to have tons of mistakes, which is what's happening right now on YouTube. Okay. But anyway, before we get to that, allow me to explain to you what the purpose of this channel originally was supposed to be. And Let's just hear this purpose the channel was supposed to be, then we're out of here. How it's changing. Okay, right. yeah, let me hear that. I'm really <clears throat> interested, actually. This channel, KO Gaming, yeah, yeah. was supposed to be a way for me to differentiate myself from my other YouTube. YouTube channels. Well, I already good. have a YouTube channel where I do just vlogging where I talk to the camera like this, and I have another YouTube channel that's all raw gameplay throughs. Me oh. just playing video games, and here's the raw footage Ooh. with my face cam and, you know, stuff like that, chat interactions and stuff like that. that. Sounds pretty cool. That's so different from the edited style content that I wanted to put out on a channel like this that I wanted to completely make a new channel for it so as not to mix it up with the other content or have this style of video with editing and everything get overshadowed by all my other stuff. Or yeah. Yeah. lost in the shuffle of a million uploads um and for the most part it was successful if you took a look at the channel in 2016 there were many times uh many videos that i put out including my reviews for homefront the revolution uh -huh. um mirror's edge catalyst uh -huh. and no man's sky that got pretty much viral coverage meaning Those they, were the they hits. actually registered in the youtube search results you know tens of thousands and some registered in the youtube search results uh-huh that's a real thing that happens. They register you. You got to sign up and then they get registered in the YouTube search results. I love that. Cases, hundreds of thousands, and in one case, over a million viewers Whoa, checked out those videos what the fuck? Uh, and liked Whoa. them. You know, now there were many other videos that I put on this channel in 2016 that didn't perform like that. Yes, but correct. overall, I was very pleased with how this channel was performing, and I had no plans to change up the way this channel was going to work in 2017. Okay. For 2017, I pretty much did exactly the same thing that I did in 2016. Edited style videos, right? Reviews, countdowns, and the like. But also, I added in a new product called the KO Gaming Community. A new product? He said new product. That's the only reason we're watching this, because I had to show that to you. He said he added a new product. He added a new product. Can you, who in their life would say a new product for a YouTube video that not even he's making? 2017, I pretty much did exactly the same thing that I did in 2016. Edited style videos, right? Yeah. Reviews, countdowns, and the like. But also, I added in a new product called the KO Gaming Community Submission, where the <laughs> viewers could actually submit montages and other kinds of edited videos to the channel, <laughs> I and I would that. showcase them on here. And there were many of those that, you know, I've uploaded over the course of the first few months of 2017 as well. Now, admittedly, this channel has been absolutely dead since late May of 2017, and there's a reason for it. What is it? This channel is to cover reviews, countdowns, and the like. For the summer of 2017, there were almost no new games whatsoever. What? And the few that I did cover, I just never got around to reviewing, period. Yeah. So the last thing that's on here is, you know, a couple reviews from late May, and then for June, July, and for the first half of August, there were no significant new releases for me to cover, and I was so busy doing things like covering E3 with vlogs on my vlogging channel, or doing these kind of more retro playthroughs and streams over on my DSP gaming channel, that I just didn't have anything to put up here. Now... We're now in the busier time of the gaming year where there's new releases coming out, and I want to start making games. Right, that's it. There's no more talk about the cock or anything. So I just wanted to hear that. The, the, the final word on the KO Gaming Community Submission Program was that it was actually a new style of product. But there we go. That'll end it today. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. It's been a very meaningful time for me. Once again, we will have music on the other side of the outro. Uh, so if you want to stick around for the music, style music, until that being said, goes live. That will be an option for you. You'll be redirected automatically. Big ups for hanging out. 
cock submission program shall live forever in our hearts no matter what and be on the lookout because i might do listen to those uh sok podcasts with the people involved because uh i gotta get the final the full context of the cock submission program but you're all legends thanks for hanging out and we will see you in a second bye